<laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome to tonight's episode of Critical Role, where a bunch of us nerdy ass voice actors sit around and play Dungeons and Dragons. Dungeons and Dragons! Dragons. <laughs> Before we get into tonight's game, uh, we have a few announcements to get through. First and foremost, we have two fantastic sponsors this evening. Our first, our friends, the campaign tool from beginning to now for episode 69. Woo! Nice. Oh, yes. Nice. Uh, our friends at D&D Beyond. Sam. <clears throat> That just hit me. Uh, D&D Beyond wants to, you to know that the new D&D Essentials Kit is coming to Tarjay. It includes a newly designed rule book that onboards players by teaching them how to make characters and adventures. The box includes several codes for D&D Beyond, <laughs> and they've also created a new tutorial page focused on how to onboard new players in, into the game that we all know and love at dndbeyond.com slash essentials. The Essentials Kit is available exclusively at Target until September 3rd, 2019. Now. Sorry, quick announcement here, guys. Uh -huh. As you know, my campaign to become the president of D&D Beyond President, wow, <laughs> has been suspended. <laughs> that is powerful stuff. <laughs> you are we got an internal loop going. Yeah. <laughs> I had to suspend my campaign because of a filthy rumor from the O'Brien campaign. Okay. He decided to go low campaign and accuse me <laughs> of colluding with a foreign power, lying about it, and making a deep fake video to to cover it up, which sounds like me, but was not, I promise. So I am announcing that my campaign has resumed as of today because I am a fighter, I am a believer, and because I have a special secret weapon. I am a great debater. In fact, some would say, I'm a master debater. Actually, I got that nickname in high school. <laughs> when I would walk down the hall, kids would say, there goes Sam the master debater. And they were right. I master debate all the time. I master debate in the shower. I master debate in the back of a lift. I will come to your house and master debate in your closet while you are asleep. My master debating never stops. Which is why I am challenging Liam O'Brien to a debate right here, sometime in July. You guys can all tune in and watch me master debate Liam O'Brien in front of your own eyes. And I will, I will master debate Liam O'Brien as long as it takes until he comes to the realization that I am even more of a furious master debater than him. But I'll need your help. <laughs> so go ahead and tweet your debate questions to at D and Beyond, and make sure to include the hashtag Master Debater. Yeah! <laughs> I'm sure they'll oh, appreciate that. Yes. Thank you for your support, your faith in my campaign. Remember, rule of cool always beats rules as written. God bless Sam America. Everyone, master debate yourself tonight. <laughs> wow! Wow! Did you ever, uh, did you ever master debate backstage at Les Mis? Uh, yeah, I had a robe. Okay. okay. That would cover up myself while I was master debating. I just wanted to be snug. That's all. <laughs> when, when did you start master debating? Uh, you know. I think I really found I had a knack for it around 12 or 13. Really? Yeah, that's when I really yeah. got into master debating. Yeah. <laughs> Spent a lot of time. Did anyone yeah. teach you how to master debate? Uh, I'm self-taught, but recently I've been master debating with my left hand. <laughs> <laughs> you know, for emphasis. Yeah, the, the, yeah, for the emphasis. gestures. Yeah. I feel like it really yeah. changes the game. You go open hand or closed fist? <laughs> what is the longest span of time you've ever master debated? Oh, I can master debate. <laughs> for up to two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> so you wouldn't have what some politicians would call stamina. <laughs> some politicians would call it that. But I gotta go to sleep after I master debate, so you know, I'm pretty relaxed. <laughs> You would think with all that master debating, you would be a perfect candidate for filibuster, though, right? Yeah. Hey, it's true. Yeah, yeah. Were, were you on a, a master debating team? Uh, yes. in, in college, I did master debate with a group, <laughs> but it was just once, and it didn't go. It, it didn't feel right. right. Mm. I was pretty drunk. Oh God. <laughs> Master debating is best when it's one-on-one. -on -one. It's true, it really is. And that's what it'll be in July. Thank you, D&D &D Beyond. God, I love politics. Oh, man. My heart rate is up, elevated. Yeah. <laughs> Have they fired us yet? I can't. 
I can't. I can't. I can't. <laughs> Matt has been blue screening for the last <laughs> minute and a half. Uh, Ow. Thank you, Dean Beyond. <laughs> I am Ow. so sorry. <laughs> no. No. Yeah. Our second sponsor, thankfully, I'm announcing. Uh, <laughs> Returning tonight, sponsor tonight's episode as well, our friends at Idle Champions. We've talked really? about it before. Yeah. We're returning now with a cool announcement we'll tell you in a second. <coughs> uh, for those who aren't familiar, Idle Champions of the Forgotten Realms is an awesome strategy game that unites iconic D&D characters from novels, campaigns, and lore about the D&D Forgotten Realms universe in one epic adventure, and is drawn from all sorts of ancillary realms as well. Even, you know, Archon, the uh, the resident yeah. uh, dickbag dragonborn that stole the uh, <laughs> Hand of Vecna at the end of my last campaign <laughs> is in there. Hand of Vecna, that's one of the Chromatic, right? I think so, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bronze. <laughs> 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 from, from a Vox Machina standpoint, I think it holds. Um, but no, each champion you bring in there adds depth and strategy to the game as you quest to complete various small quests, I imagine. Uh, adventures taken from official DD uh, modules and adventures that have come out, uh, including Dragon Heist and Curse of Strahd. Uh, it is available for PC and Mac on Steam, Xbox One, PlayStation 4, iPad, and all Android devices, and Tonight's special announcement is that it's now available on iPhone. Ooh, so wow. you can you can you can you can keep your champions idle on the go, which That's is pretty awesome. fun. I have an iPhone that works for me. You should check it out. I Sam. will. I will indeed. You're not busy master debating, <laughs> you know, so it's hard to hard to multitask for you. Yeah. Uh, you know yeah. Time to squeeze it in. <laughs> it's in the App Store now. Let's celebrate the launch with a free gold chest when you enter the code. Now I now on iPhone. I was like, now on the phone. There was no spaces. Now on iPhone. One one word. Uh, in the in-game shop to get your free gold chest. Uh, for more information, check out idlechampions.com/slash critical role. Alrighty. Got a few more announcements here. Uh, you can join us Saturday, July 20th, for our Tox Machina panel at San Diego Comic Con. We announced that. We'll be in room 6 BCF for those of you who'll be down there braving the, the droves and droves of us geeks that will be taking over the Gaslamp District and beyond. Uh, you can check out all the details there at critroll.com slash events. Um, we also shared an update on our summer programming schedule yesterday on our socials, if you haven't checked it out yet. It includes, pardon me, updates on Handbooker Helper, Maim Drop, Ooh. Travis Willingham, ha Willingham's, Travis Willingham's Yeehaw oh, Game Yeah, you yeah. should, that's a good one. I don't even have any. Uh, between the Sheets and a special Call of Cthulhu one shot that Talos yes. and Jaffe here is going to be running. Yes. yes. Immortal. Excited about that. I'm fucking end you. I'm ready. I'm ready. My body's ready. I'm ready now. Uh, we have announced a great guest that will be on there as well. Uh, check out all the details at critroll.com. Uh, as a reminder, we're taking a short rest next week as a studio. Um, all of next week will be dark, uh, but we'll be back f uh, j Tuesday, July 9th. July 9th, that's the day, uh, with Tox Machina. Uh, in the meantime, next week, take a break with us. Go and get caught up, or introduce your friends to the insane stuff that we do here. Um, or just do what we do and, and relax and breathe. Yeah, play some your own uh, And last but not least, a huge thank you to our friend here at the channel, Brian Forrest. Uh, who uh, yeah. you've, seen, you've seen in a few episodes of uh, Handbook or Helper, but he uh, has designed, created, and we just recently put up our new Mighty Nine Tabard. Yeah. 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 Hang, hanging uh, hanging so symbol cool. in the back wall there. It's a series of leather, wood, and actual metal that's been all sorts of treated and burned and, and shaped and shaved, and he, he's, he's amazing. So thank you, Brian. You're, you're awesome. Yeah. I believe that's the end of our announcements. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into tonight's episode of Critical Role. Dead. 
They got magic and flair They got falchions and cunning They don't see over there There's a monster and coming Inspiration is waiting Rise up, don't think twice Put your fate in your hands Take a chance, roll the dice late on that. <laughs> Welcome back. So, last we left off, the Mighty Nine had been chasing down a lead, an individual who had been racing northward and seemed seemingly as attached to these strange devices that had been causing rifts to the abyss to tear open all across Jorhas. And following this individual across the barbed fields, dodging and escaping dangerous encounters, you found yourself beneath the nearby mountains of Bazozan, traveling through subterranean tunnels of some ancient dungeon once locked by these celestial angel statues. You made your way through uh, a, a bridge where silence was of the essence, where it seemed a chasm filled with tortured, twisting flesh, teeth, and eyes would gibber, if you will, upon hearing the presence of players. Escaping the confusion and a few tumbles, one completely off the edge of the bridge and into the mess, thankfully, Salvaged by a, uh, a played via remote jester. <laughs> and then into a strange, cold maze of mirrors and a glacial crystal barrier upon which, inspecting the reflections of the mirrors, the reflections begin to pull some of you in. In an alternate chamber, their battle was done with strange reflections, dark reflections of yourselves. Upon completing that battle, you found a way back into the main chamber discovered the musical key that managed to open this crystalline barrier. And behind that, another door, which contained one of the porcelain celestial sculptures, holding its hands together with a small opening. You discovered in the mirror realm what looked to be some sort of a magical dagger that was embedded in the wall. Placing it within this sculpture, it unlocked the door. As the eyes bled, they swung open. And that is where we've left off. So, Mighty Nine, what would you like to do? Short rest, cast Identify for 10 minutes on that fucking dagger. Whoa, look at you, smart well, we guy. That, what the hell? You already put it in this, this We statue. were identifying something, right? Whip. The whip. The whip. Yeah. I mean, the dagger's in the door, and the door is open at this point. You, yeah. you don't know if it's removable or not. All right, uh, what can we see beyond the door, or is it obscured it's, somehow? Uh, make a perception check. Mm, that is a nim, 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 16. 16. Right now, at this distance, looking in there, it's just darkness. About 20 feet or so of hallway. And that light that's getting there is just from the light that you guys are creating in your space. And then it just goes into pitch black. Mm. Do you think this could wait? Or do we need to know now? <clears throat> I'm afraid we might not get another opportunity if we get my drift. Are you afraid there's something wrong with it? It's bad news? No, not bad news, but if it's good news, we can use all the help we can get. Well, maybe you should. What? Say that again? I was saying, you know, give it a crack, but I guess you should no, check it first. That's fair. I give it a crack. <laughs> it echoes through and snaps the chambers. Kind of briefly seem to just rock slightly, oh, though it may Jesus. just be your perspective of the loud snapping of the sound barrier oh, in an isolated place. It is longer than any whip you've seen, and as you crack it, it whirls up and manages to stretch quite a distance before it snaps. Yeah. Seemed, identify it, identify like it, it, identify it! Did it seem like it stretched longer than it actually is when he's holding it at rest? Uh, it's hard to tell. Okay. <laughs> so I walk away from the door and sit and uh, crisscross applesauce and begin to identify. We can okay. all do the same, take short rest, yeah. Short rest really takes one. 30 minutes, you short, want it? Short rest is about an hour. But oh, an Jesus. hour. You can if you want to. I mean, it, 
We should, see you guys. We should post up and look Remember, for the warlock comes out of gas. I. Really easy. I'm Thank good. You, I'm good, but you know, if if well, Ford needs a little resty poo, he should take one. Nobody else needs one. Just me being self well, over here. I have been dinged a little bit. Yeah, same. And I don't ever have much. You know. Might as well stack the deck where we can. Can I get a hey? <laughs> hey. Yeah. What? Wow. No. Something we do in Port I was it's a, trying to go with It's like a man. dock call. You like be like. Had a good voyage today. Can I get a hey? And all the ships are like, hi. <laughs> huh. That's a real unifying uh, thing, you know, union workers and I heard and stuff. I heard them do that in Nicodranas as well. I think you yeah. Truth. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. 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 So we're taking a rest. Sure, yeah, but we need to, to be on guard, on watch. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 We'll each take some. Let's all take a short rest back to back and keep an eye out. Great idea. Great, yeah. I'm good, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do some investigating. Ooh. I wanna see if I can find any carvings, any writing, any script on the walls, anything. Inside the mirror chamber? No, no, in the in the angel chamber. Oh, I mean the Leading little the, the space between the uh, the barrier and that it's angel doorway. Okay, yeah. go ahead and make an investigation check. Celestial foyer, if you will. Yes, an empty chamber. All right. Uh, seventeen. I'm not. I'm not focused okay. rest at all. I, seventeen. I don't want to uh, looking among the the walls of this small, maybe ten foot gap between the two barriers, um, the stone is. Much like the previous chamber, it's been hewn and, and smooth, but not to a perfect level. It's a bit rough, rough and warped in places, but it doesn't have any like jagged edges to it. Um, you don't see any particular symbols or writing that calls your attention within this chamber, unfortunately. This chamber. I'm going to keep watching, yeah. We should look at the mirror thing, because that angel is weeping. <gasps> oh my god, what if the wall opened up on the other side? You mean the? Uh... You mean in the mirror realm? Yeah. <coughs> so that figures. The uh, ice thing. If nobody yeah. else needs a short rest, I mean, it might not hurt to go look at all the mirrors either. Make sure something hadn't changed. All right. Well, I can. Uh, I'll go with you. Okay. Okay. We'll go together. Okay. All right. So what the two of you do? We're going back to the mirror room and and looking and seeing for changes and stuff. Okay. You yeah. approach the nearest mirror and reach out and. Oh no! It's I couldn't solid. get through before. I couldn't either. Do you think it maybe the worst people to do this then? Well, we're very perceptive. Well, you are anyway. Let's just make it once around. Okay. So we're gonna go all around the go. room. And touch every mirror. As you're making your pass, you get about half of the chamber checked, and all the mirrors are solid. None are letting you pass. Maybe it closed the door. Yeah, maybe it was active when the the knife thing was in the, in the handle, and not now. Maybe. You get the sense from watching what transpired here as well. The mirrors seem to be a one-way activation. Oh right, somebody has to be on the other side to pull us through, mm. and nobody's on the other side now. That makes sense. Shit. Oh well. Maybe we, somebody should have stayed on the other side. Yeah, you're right. Um, well, no, wait. But then we don't want someone to stay. There's no reason to go there anymore, right? Mm hmm. Anyway, I think it's fine. Hey, Jess. Yeah. You see my flask? The one you always drink from. The only flask I ever drink from. That's right. The one that's. Is it the one that's? Got a lot of alcohol, that like endless alcohol in it. Yes, the one that defines me as a, as a person. Yes, that one. I wouldn't say it defines you as a person. I, I mean, think you are defined by many other things. Sure, but you know the one I'm speaking of. Have you have you seen it? It's the one that I always have on me. I have not. You you have? I have not. You have? Yes, I have. What? I have. Oh. You've seen it? Where is it? Who has it? I have it. You have it? Yeah. Well, why? Well, 
because you were like always drunk and oh. you also like were doing some weird things and it made me really nervous for you and I thought that maybe, you know, you would have a clear head if you didn't have it and then you would realize that you didn't need it because you had a clear head and then you would go, oh my gosh. Thank you so much, Jester, for taking it from me. You didn't think you could talk to me about that? Well, at the time, you were pretty drunk. I'm always drunk. Well, no, you're not now. I don't like now. Well, but look, think about how clear we're talking right now. now. I feel like we talk like this all the time. Well, kind of, but usually, like, your eyes are going like this. There's a lot to see in the world. It's a very amazing place. (laughs) Listen, you might be enjoying this conversation, but I am not. You are not. (laughs) This is confusing. I haven't felt like myself in days now, and and I don't like it. And I'm sad that you couldn't talk to me about this. I'm sorry. Well, I'll forgive you if you give me back my flask. I will not. Will you? (laughs) I will. But I want you to think about the fact that, you know, that, well, I would say you're doing so much better without it, but you're not. You jumped off a fucking bridge. I should chase after you and almost die. I am a bundle of nerves right now. I've been, the whole whole time we've been coming down here, it's dark. It's okay. scary, okay. I'm scared. Fine. Fine. And I'm Fine. thinking about Fine. things, and I don't want to think about, I don't want to think about things. I don't want to think about anything. I just want to be, I just want to be on an adventure with you guys, and that's all I want. And and I don't, I don't want to think about anything else past that. Life can be hard. And it is. You have a husband and a son who loves you very much. I love them too. And they want you alive. And sometimes when you're drinking this, you don't look for traps. Or when you do, you you trigger them. (laughs) (laughs) Well, nobody's perfect. (laughs) It's just that, you know, they rely on you, and we do too, and... I know, but... I don't know if, I, I don't, I, I can't have everyone relying on me, right? Well, no, I, I mean, you can rely on me too, and we can rely on Caleb, I'm and just, we can rely I'm on I'm just me. scared, that's all. I'm scared of, <sighs> I'm scared of what happens next. You know, I don't know what, I don't wanna know what's gonna happen after this. I found my husband, I found my son. And I want to go back with them so much. Yeah. But I'm worried that if I go back, that'll be it. It doesn't have to be. Hell, we might not make it back, you know? Nobody knows what's going to happen. I worry that we got my mom in trouble and, you know, somebody's going to go find her because of things we did and You know, she could be hurt right now. (laughs) Or even if she's not, we might not ever get out of here and we might not ever get back to Nicodranas. We have to get back to your family. I want to get back to mine, but I don't know. Sometimes it's just easier to... Escape? Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'll think about what you said. Maybe I'll... I'll try not to drink all day. Maybe I can start with baby steps and only drink between the hours of like, what do you suggest? Maybe like between the time we camp and like the time you go to sleep only. Oh wow, that is a short interval. I was thinking like 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. That's the whole day. It's not the morning, it's not right when you wake up, you know? It's like, bro, you take... What if we find a trap at, like, one? 
I might set it off. Yeah. 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 And then we could all die. Especially me. Yeah. You'll be the closest. And a lot of times I'm standing next to you. So, so is Caleb and he's squishy. Yes. He he's very handsome though. Yes, he's very handsome. He's shaped. I saw. He has a nice chin. He does. Yeah. Little cleft in it. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll compromise. Okay. 11.30 to 11. To start? Not! <laughs> I can't stay mad at you. <laughs> Give me my flask or I'll all kill right, you. Right, Thank all you. Right, I love you. I love you. <laughs> Just think about it, okay? I will think about it, okay. I promise. Okay. And hey, if you know, you feel like you really need it or something, just tell me and I can cast, like, a restoration spell on you or something, and maybe, you know, you'll feel better. Wait, I can get as drunk as I want, and then when I want to undrunk, no, you can just I'm always be there to... No, I'm not going to waste my spells like but that. But you could. I don't know if it works like that. I was saying if you have, like, a hangover or Only something. Only one way to find out! I don't like this plan. <laughs> 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 this is the worst. It's 11.30 somewhere. Let's go back. <laughs> <laughs> All right. In the meantime, <laughs> anyone else doing anything specifically? Keep searching for stuff <laughs> if I can. Okay. I mean, not finding things. Well, what else are you looking for? I don't know. It's supposed to be good at <laughs> investigating. You suck at it. Oh, you no, making, you're very good at it. Why are you making so much noise over here? What are you looking for? Fucking answers. The answers. And uh, is there a mechanism? Do I see any? How is it crying? Why is it crying? Do you want to you investigate the door? The, why is the angels crying? The statue. The statue. Yeah, I'll I'll, I'll carry over investigation roll there. You go ahead and inspect it, and it's it's a very slow <laughs> trickle. Um, glancing at it, uh, there isn't a particular mechanism that you can find. There is a slight gap underneath the eye where the blood seems to come from, but you're not certain if the mechanism here is mechanical or enchantment-based. Uh, it's a strange, it's a strange thing. It's weird. Fucking hate not knowing shit. <clears throat> Can we get a sense of how old these things are? I can't remember if we've done that in a past game, but. Uh, I mean, God, based on the conversation that you had with the angel, and make a, make a history check. Are you in the 19. 19? Yeah. Um, some of the iconography, the discussion based on the history of Bazozan, the conversation with the angel skull, you get the sense this place is pre-Calamity. Mm. As is a lot of things in this area of Jorhas that haven't been built recently by the Korean dynasty. And no no writing at Bauragadi would have found it. There's no writing on the this door or these these bells or musical tone devices. Not specifically in this section, no. Well, maybe we have just run out of road here. Maybe we need to gather our things and go in. Yeah. I figured out that whip. What's the whip? Um, well, I can't use it. It's for, It's best in somebody's where is everybody? They're all here. You all here? Yeah, you guys are all still mostly gathered there, right sitting, yeah. keeping an eye on the on the on the way forward, just keeping the yeah. ear and the eye open on it. Scratching the designs armor. It's yeah. very cool, but I, I can't use it, and it, it would be best in the hands of someone very strong. So I would imagine one of you two ladies, if you want, maybe you, because you're you know you're always like pip 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 doing many things. So maybe for you, but what it does is it will grab a hold of uh, your foe from quite a ways away. And uh, restrain them, pull them toward you. But uh, I can tell just by the heft of it that it needs some muscle. So you know, look at me. Weep. <laughs> well, uh, I mean, I can. Would I be able to pull it and then yank it towards somebody else? Um, you'd have to experiment with it. I don't know. I'm not really a whip master. It's a very long whip. I was a good debater in school, but. <laughs> Were you a master debater? Some would say. Wow. I've heard about those. Thanks for your pops. <laughs> You're like, uh. Let me see the whip. Really dole out some punishment. How's with it that feel? Whip. 
How's it, it feel? It, it feels pretty hefty. It's got a nice weight to it. It's hefty. It's got a nice weight to it. <laughs> <laughs> Can you use it with other things, though? Probably not. Oh, like in one hand while you've got a uh, sword? Oh, you've got a two handed weapon, too. Jester, I think. This has your name all over it. Jester, I think, though. I mean, how often do you hit things with your, uh, your hand axe? Like, never. Yeah, yeah might I as well have it. But I think that's more useful than your axe. Restrained for sure. isn't like grapple? You can choose. It grapples. If you can use an action to attack something, it has a 20 foot reach. It's a very long Whoa. whip. Um, if it hits, you choose to either. Uh, restrain them, like they become grappled. If you, you know, as part of that, you can choose to restrain them as part of the grapple, or you could pull them twenty feet towards you. You can also be used on objects Ooh. to pull objects towards you, or you toward objects. This is also oh I thought, shit, Indiana Jones. I love this. And it could maybe work for you because you do so many things. And you oh could my get gosh, I'm putting it on my belt right uh, now. I can move pretty fast. Though. I love it. But you don't this feels like. It. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Is there anything up high oh. that I can hit it with? Wow. That I can wrap it around. <laughs> uh, make, <laughs> make a perception check. <laughs> wow. That oh. Yeah, that was a journey. Nice of the show. <laughs> yeah, that was cool. It was so pretty good. Uh, Forever. Yeah, yeah. 20, uh, 23. 23. Okay, glancing near the entryway where you guys first came in, there was a faint aspect of an archway where you could see there's a little kind of groove on top and a little space between where some of the stone has fallen away. There's a slight gap. <laughs> and I pull myself up towards it. Okay, you go ahead and wrap around, and as you invoke the whip, it seems to retract and almost like, like, like a reverse rubber band, pull you through the air towards it, Whoa. and you, you can either choose to grab onto it or just fall. I'm going to grab onto it. Okay, so you, you leap about at an angle about 20 feet up and then catch yourself. You're now hanging about five feet off the ground, your feet kind of dangling. Whoa. Whoa. This that is the coolest awesome. thing ever. It's like that VR game. <gasps> Caleb, <laughs> thank you. Oh, sure. I'm just going to stay here for a while, you guys. I'll keep looking around. There's a spider on your head. Cool. <laughs> well, I walk over and push no. up the shoe. <laughs> no upskirt paintings ever anyone. I wear pants oh. under my dress. <laughs> oh, <Rose. laughs> Sorry. Anything else anyone wants to do in this area? No, let's go. Has the I short rest ended? Some. Short rest is an hour, so if like if you aren't sure, you've heard, uh, I don't think I got it. But. Oh, it's hurting. Yasha. Uh, I'd say because you're casting the spell, you could take a short rest, but I'm gonna have to wait an additional ten minutes. Okay. Okay. So you the are, short rest is complete. You uh, just, you all right? You're kind of staring at the wall. Yeah. A little bit. I think so. I think I just I'm ready to figure out what this place is and what's going on and. Just to have some answers, you know? Nothing's familiar at all. Not that it would be, but. No, I, d I don't think I've ever been here before. So, I, I don't. <laughs> and none of this is familiar to me. You know, you are often on the front line with us, but might I suggest you stick to the middle right now? I don't know if I feel comfortable with that. Little protection is not a terrible thing. It can be. I would like to be in the front if that's okay. The choice is yours. I think I'm just I'm tired of being in the middle. I'm not being able to do anything, so. If it's okay with you guys, I would like to. In the front. Lead the way, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm be proud to follow you. We're right behind you. Okay. Real quick, because we're in the room. Yes. For an hour now. Any new tracks in this room that do not belong to us? Uh, make a survival check. Oof. Seven. Seven. It's hard to tell in this chamber. I mean, a lot of dust got kicked up and around by you guys in the middle of trying to inspect the place and dealing with the musical entryway and the shifting of the barrier. Your eyes don't pick up anything one way or the other. I would remind us all of one thing, remember? We were following tracks up to that barrier. 
none were on the other side. So whoever was here before us, possibly recently, did not open that door. We have, in case we didn't see them on the way through. Just want to make, make sure no one's in here with us, has gone through, or is behind us. Mm. Are there tracks on the inside going towards where we're going? Are there footprints already leading down? Uh, he just made a tracking check, couldn't see anything. If you want to make a survival check. I'll join in. Uh, not much better, 10. 10? Not picking up anything really one way or the other. Nothing catches your eye. I'm gonna, while they look around, I'm, I'm gonna retract what I said. I'm gonna lay out for another 10, 10 or 15 minutes. Okay, what are you doing? Arcane recovery. Okay. To, so, to achieve that short rest like the others did. Okay, got you. So you guys hang for an additional 15 minutes past the hour long short rest so he can go ahead and recover a little bit of his arcane knowledge. Do I see anything looking ahead into the room? Um, your dark vision, which I believe normally extends to 60 feet, is still reduced to 30. Kind of the, the, the curse of this locale seems to limit vision and light. Um, that 30 foot range, the hallway just continues. You can see the stonework going instead from that kind of smooth hewn stone to looks like intentional brick at the very cusp. Like stone bricks that are layered and built on both sides of the wall. So we're going from the smooth interior to a constructed interior. But that's the extent of your your visual range from where you guys are waiting. Can I check for tracks going in there as well? Unfortunately, everyone's already kind of oh, yeah. yeah, kind of pu pushing into the, the track rolls. All right. Yeah. No. Nope. It's all good. good. Well, um but yeah. Well, any other prep we need to do before we go in? Let's go! Um, anybody glass. got any glass vials, beakers, anything like that? I do. Want to smash one of those up in a little piece of cloth and just scatter it on the floor behind us? Just in case we walk in and somebody steps on it. I say this quietly. It's, not, it's very small. I mean, we have a thousand ball bearings, don't we? Yeah, but this would make noise. Yeah, like oh, if I they mean, step on it. Like a, like a, like a chemist's bottle. Let me see what else I have. Oh, yeah, work. that might yeah. be perfect. Just enough to. Saw it on this play called "Impossible Mission." It was great. <laughs> gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. All right. Would sure. you allow me again to, and I start to trace uh, the same angles through the air, and uh, cast "Gift of Alacrity" on you again? So, initiative for next eight hours. Nice. Thank you, Caleb. Can I take an empty healing bottle, healing potion bottle, and get some of the blood that's dripping and put it in the bottle? Sure, yeah, you can definitely do that. It takes a little bit, it's not like a serious rush, it's just a very slow trickle, so you have to take some time while you know, kind of resting and waiting for Caleb to finish to go ahead and fill some of the vial, but it's doable, yeah. Does it feel like there's a thrumming coming from this one too? Uh, not a thrumming necessarily. Are you feeling for the, for the music you mean? Yeah. Like you, uh, you put your ear to it? There is a faint oh. music to it. Connects it to the other ones that you've listened to before, yeah. Yasha. Yeah? Did you ever put your ear to this? I did. I put it to the back when, when we were down there, but I kind of want to hear it again. Put it in, it's, it's playing the music again. Give it a listen. Yep. In the same tune. Mm -hmm. Same seven notes in repetition, just kind of the soft, droning <laughs> progression. <laughs> 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 that sounds familiar. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, intermission. No, um, <laughs> so, you guys have rested up. Mm -hmm. You've uh, inspected the whip and ascertained its nature. Is there anything else you wish to do at this juncture? Hell no, let's go. Yeah, sure. Let's go. Lead the way. Okay. Okay. Is everybody ready? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Got it. What's the marching order, by the way? Well, Yasha. Yasha in front. Perfect. I'll be behind Yasha. I'll, I'll be here. behind Bo. Wait, get the cleric up there. I'll be behind Bo. All right. So wait, so we can do this behind Bo and then four? Yep. Mm. All righty. Who's up next? There's no light source down here, right? I'll be next. No. No that you can see. Not tracks. next, and then we have Caleb and Jester. Do you need to be back. in the back, or? Uh, yes, please. Okay. I'll be in the back. Caleb okay. will be. You got it. Oh, Jester. Oh, you'll be the boost. Those two. Okay. I take a big old fat swig of booze. You got 
my shoulders. Oh. No. Alrighty. Progressing onward for another 60 or so feet, you watch the tunnel, much like you had noticed, change texture into these like foot high, two foot wide stone bricks, offset laid to create walls. The chamber itself, it's about 20 feet wide, or the, the hallway, 20 feet wide, 10 feet tall, just a walkway. Continuing on for a bit. Like arched or just square, square. flat? Okay. Um, continuing onward for the extent of this tunnel, it opens up. You can see what looks to be railing on the right and left sides as you begin to push forward, Yasha. And then railing ahead of you, across the way. So as the chamber opens up, you can see rail this way, and then bits of railing here with a gap. And it looks like there's a larger, dark chamber inside, and you can see what looks to be the very faint flickering of light. Like small little light sources flickering, just out of sight. Do you continue on towards the end of the hallway? Uh, sure, yeah, sure. Mm. So, it's like a tea, railings right? on either side. Yeah, it's like a T. Kind of like it, the hallway continues, and then it just opens up. The walls open into this space, like a cavern like or a room ahead of you. Like a rail, like once and it, it looks like up, there's a railing. Across there's a railing there. across it, and railing on each side, and then the chamber like opens up off. below. It looks like yeah, it like falls off, going, and then whatever, whatever. That Anytime is. there's a walkway. A giant open chasm. Oh, Bad news yeah. bears. Uh -huh. Where else are we gonna go? Yeah. <laughs> I just want to savor this moment. Yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. <laughs> Me too. While we're all okay. still alive. Um, okay. Uh, I, I'm just going to take this moment to burn uh, a one first level spell slot of transmutation magic. I have Featherfall prepared just to shift the transmutation stone back to um, being uh, help with concentration. Concentration. Different property for the stone. Okay, you got it. Uh, okay, I move forward. Okay. You come and, as you're stepping forward, as the walls open up on each side, you can see two wide staircases that slowly spiral down into a larger chamber that is below, about 20 feet below you. And you can see what looks to be candelabras affixed multiple points torches across the way, torches to each right side that are gently flickering. That's the only light source in this chamber. All the light is condensed. You can see what you would expect to be the radius, once again, also choked by the locale. Um, what does a blind human see? I'm just holding onto Nott's shoulder. Right, blind human, well, you, you see darkness other than the sources mm -hmm. of the firelight. Okay. So you see like little flickering candles. Okay. And so you see the candelabra. Uh, a little bit of light in the distance. You still can't make out the extent of it, but a little bit of light that's coming through that's given off and is being choked is making visible a slight shape in the <laughs> center of the floor down below. What's the shape? Make a perception check. Both of you, since you guys are at the front. In the back. Natural 20. Yes. Yes. All right. Hell yeah, 15. <laughs> 15, oh. okay. Gross. Yeah. Uh, uh. At this distance, at the edge of the railing, it's hard to make out the details. You, however, squint, goggles on, focus out, and you can see the candelabras themselves are at the four corners of this like slightly stepped raised platform that goes up about five feet, and there is a wide stone slab, about five feet high, 10 feet on each side. Looks kind of like a like a sarcophagus. Mm. Cool, cool, cool. <sighs> kinda. Runner. It kind of looks. I pass it down the line. Are there any tracks amongst our feet? Anything fresh? You're having a hard time picking up tracks, man. Yep. Sorry. I'm just, you know, you know, <laughs> fucking, I gotta quit shuffling. <sighs> the scripture at the front said, "Let lie the king's instrument, deathless and detained until the world ends." Deathless and detained. Oh god. We're gonna make it deathful. Now are you okay? I'm great. <laughs> Woo. What? Have you been What? I've been hitting the sauce. Undead pings. 
Uh, I feel like we're too far away. I mean, it's a, I can't really see anything yet. Let's roll closer. Can we send some lights down there? Do you think that would be a bad idea? Have we stepped out into, or at least to the railing? You guys are up, up at the railing now. Kind of. So how, far, above us. how far down does it go? Uh, it goes down about twenty so feet. Oh, in that case, 15, I'll do a 20. quick. I'll do a ping then. Let me let me ping. Meaning to yeah to, to the floor and then the actual this this stone slab like structure itself is maybe hard to tell from this distance, but about forty or fifty feet out from where you guys are standing at the edge. I will do eyes of the grave then. Okay, close your eyes and focus. Nothing. No one dead within sixty lead, feet. Superman, don't be. Nothing, don't be nothing within <laughs> sixty feet. <laughs> Above us. Above us, the the chamber, the actual as as it opens up, it opens up into a ceiling about five feet higher than the hallway you were in, but it's just this kind of smooth. Top. Make a perception check for me. God, ten. Okay. Uh, you see, the roof is singular, wide, kind of arched ceiling. You can just barely make out with what little bit of light there is. There's designs on it, but you. You can't tell anything from this distance in this low light. Uh, just sit up there. If I put my hand right. on the wall, do I feel any kind of thrumming? Yeah. Uh, you put your hand on the wall. Make a perception check. Roll a wisdom save. There's like drums and stuff. A Volvo. 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 Eight. Eight. Nothing. Feels like wall. How <laughs> far down? Twenty feet. It is, it's twenty feet. About Fifteen, twenty feet to the bottom part of the floor. The staircase okay. is bringing you down to. I mean, Are we ready to light this room up. And it, we can't see anyone else in there. Just the Not in this stone. light, no. We haven't exactly. And you rolled a dodge twenty in your perception check, and you don't see anybody else in the room. They know if we're coming. We haven't been quiet. There was no door. Light it up. I'm gonna take a swig and go invisible. <laughs> okay. Uh, Not vanishes. I uh, pull out the drift globe and light it up and say, Tawaj, and it floats <laughs> next to us. Okay. It lights up. And it's on the paper. Yep. It creates the daylight spell, which lights the chamber. And you can now see plainly this, this stone tomb, sarcophagus-like structure. Fairly simple. Um, has three sets of dark chains pulled across it. Oh. Um, Just a bike repair shop. Um, Looking up, you can see. Blood, blood all over the ceiling. No, there's a massive mural okay. painted across it. Nope. What you see is a violent depiction of a swollen, pale, worm like body coiled to a grotesque length, burrowing through landscapes of vibrant trees, turbulent oceans, fiery mountains, and desolate barrens. At the center of this worm-like form extends three elongated arms, ending in grasping hands, wreathing a bulbous, hairless, humanoid head, screaming, bearing a crooked crown. Oh the eyes are black voids, the mouth open, the grimace revealing rows of serrated teeth. It's detailed, but also jagged in the art. There's talent in this, but it isn't refined. Ladies and gentlemen, the Crawling King. Yeah. Yeah. Does it look like it's carved into the ceiling? Best you can tell, it looks like it's painted. Painted, okay. Jagged. It's beautiful, there's a lot of refined. colors. You can see the detail, but the lines aren't smooth. The lines are a little rough to kind of give it this weird, kind of almost violent feel to a still image. On the opposite uh, wall from us, where we are at this railing, is it a matching uh, sort of walkway around, or just the stairs that go down to the? The stairs that go down, there's another walkway, it's just an open room. Uh -huh. You see the walls go straight and then kind of angle inward, and then you see two torches in the opposite end that are just faintly burning. Doorways, any sort of? From what you can see, no other doorways. And how But you're quite a distance to check. How are these chains affixed in here again? Uh, there's three sets of them that kind of uh, kind of cross over from corner to corner. Over the slab. This over the slab, time. and then a center one there. Okay. Yeah. Where do they come from? Are they coming out of the ground? They're the coming course? off the ground. They're like locked in there and bolted. Bolted to the. Well, might as well go down and see what all the fuss is about. Yeah. I'll start walking down the right side. Right side. Is there anything? I'll go left. Okay. Uh, While invisible. What's up, Chester? Sorry. Sorry. Does it look like this is stupid? That the the 
mural on the, that it's a still image, it's not moving at all? Make a perception check. Oh, Jesus. Uh, uh, 24. You glance up and focus, kind of holding your breath for a second and just waiting for any sort of shift or movement. And still, it's it's an art relief. What? Is there any ivory around? Ivory? Uh, around like the room? I don't know. Yeah, sure. Make make a perception check. What? Uh, ten. Ten. You don't see any ivory. Right, right. I'm gonna grab the drift globe out of the air and, and tentatively follow Ford down the stairs he's going. Okay. I am nervous to get close to this thing, but is there any writing of any kind on the slab, on the walls down here? Okay, as you head down to the right, as you're, as you're kind of curving down the stairway, there's a slight corner, like a gap, where the stairs drop off, and there's just a little, little kind of alcove that's cut off from the rest of the chamber. You can see there's a singular torch there that's flickering. To the right. And to, to the right, as you're heading down. The and on the wall up, you can see the same writing that you saw on the obelisk when you first entered this from the tunnel. Is that build every bridge, become every nightmare, nightmare devour, stun every, every heart. Yeah. Every Is there writing on top of the <laughs> slab with the chains, on top of the Sarcophagus. Uh, hard to see at this distance. Ooh. Are you joining the rest of the folks down there? Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Down. Okay. Just, just to make sure these, sl- these stairs don't like turn into fucking slides, and then we're stuck down here or some shit. Okay. The, are they okay. stone stairs? Do they look like there's a hinge or any sort of movement to them? They look steady. Make an investigation check. I'm just gonna lock down. Goddamn <laughs> Hurricane Harbor in this uh-huh. bitch. What the fuck? <laughs> Eight. Eight. Okay. <laughs> it looks pretty pretty solid to you. Not you. Head down. As you and Ford kind of make your curve down the stairway. I'll wait to the top. Yes, yeah, You sure. reach the bottom without a shoe. Wow, they are wow, stairs. Wow, wow. You can't keep doing side. that. I have a heart rip. I turn around the way we came. Okay. Is there anything behind us? And does it look like when we entered this chamber, if there's like a door at the end of this or something that could cut us off? Make a perception check. Oof, bing bong. What is fucking happening? Guys are hard to Six. You don't see anything in the hallway behind you, giving, you know, following up, and from what you can see, it looks like a continuation of the stone bricks. You don't see anything that could be a, a door or a wall. He's the god of imprisonment and yeah. torture. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Fuck. Yeah, it's been a running theme for the campaign. Um, I'm checking out this alcove. Does anything, the, the, so there's a torch in there or a candelabra with the right? There, there's a torch onto the wall that's just kind of been burning. Okay. You, you assume for it to be burning. Uh, if it's been here as long as this has been built, yeah. this is a torch that does not stop burning. Right, and is there any any relief or stone that could be pressed or anything mechanical in here? Uh, whereabouts? You in should, this you alcove. Should pursue the, oh, it's in alcove. alcove. specifically around this. Uh, do you want to like carefully and go through and check it out? And check Investigation it out. check. Um, can't roll for shit. Sixteen. Sixteen. <laughs> it's not bad. <laughs> Um, Six. Fair enough. You don't see anything in there that resembles a switch or a pressure plate. Um, it just looks like an alcove. At the bottom, Same. can I move towards the far end of opposite where we were at the railing just to see what's over there by those two sconces and shit? You yeah. the sarcophagus? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, other people are looking at it. You don't need all of this. Yeah. Sarcophagus. Okay. You move across the opposite side, head over to the two torches, similar to the ones that are in the two alcoves that are fixed to the wall. Um, you can see the wall just continues up and meets the mural where there's kind of the large arched ceiling there in the center. Nothing else in no, particular. Like pressure plates or pulley thingy. You make an investigation check. God, son of a crap fire. <laughs> you know what? Where's that grog die? There we go. 14. 14. <laughs> you take a moment to start like feeling around and checking any of the, the stone uh, sections that are, you know, the edges and corners to look for oh, no. unnatural <laughs> gaps and like pulling the sconces. You go and pull one of the sconces, the torch kind of comes out and you can put it back in. Nothing seems to be a mechanism of any kind. Nothing over here. Same. Uh, so, Yasha, you you went down the went down the left side. On the left side with not yeah. Jester Caduceus. So you guys. Um, I followed Yasha. Okay. I'll go the opposite way. Okay. So you guys have all down in the central area. There's the the four 
candelabra sitting at the corners of this kind of raised step platform where the sarcophagus sits atop. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. I'm okay. gonna scoot around towards the sort of the opposite corner of the room, the back corner of the room, behind the sarcophagus. Okay. So you move kind of kind of similar to where Ford is, oh, but a little but a little more to the the edge where the wall itself is like a like a cropped corner. And then how far from the sarcophagus if I want to walk up and inspect it? Uh, about 15, 20 feet. I will stealth over there and look at the sarcoph. Yeah. Uh, go ahead and make a, an investigation or perception check from your choice. Drunk. 15. 15, okay. On, on the side closest to you, that's kind of on, if you're looking from where you entered, on the left side of the sarcophagus type structure, you see a faint golden sigil that overlaps where a thin line marks where the lid of this would be. Do I recognize the sigil? Uh, make an arcana check. I'm terrible at that. Natural one. You have no idea. <laughs> I wonder if it's a last job. Looks like a B. Cool. I Hello, B. I was <laughs> Hello, B. <laughs> I head over to the sarcophagus as well, and super on edge, going to start to make a circle around the whole thing to see if there's anything to read. I'm going to stay up okay. against the wall where the railing was. I want to make sure I'm oh, near Caleb. off to the, which, which like wall? You didn't come downstairs? Like, I came down the stairs and then I just kind of stayed over by the stairs. Is it like a okay, yeah, drop off it, where the railing yeah, was above there is, us then? Yeah, so you can, you can go head over by that wall and looking up at it, okay. Um, and what are you doing? I'm just, I want to be near Caleb. Okay, by so the while he's doing that, since we're all down here, I will walk back up to the top of the railing mm -hmm. and keep an eye on the hallway. Okay. Uh, As I do that, I pull out uh, my pearl and hold it to my forehead and cast a Fortune's Favor on myself. You got it. Okay, uh, you go around the opposite side that not invisibly is at, and you don't see her necessarily. On the other side, which would be the right side of the sarcophagus, kind of when you're looking at it head on from where you entered, there is a matching golden sigil there that rests across where the lid itself, kind of where the, the line is. And doesn't mean anything to me. Make an arcana check. Come on, come on, you fucking wizard. Come on, come on fucking Liam. Oh my god. Two ones. No. Oh, so fortune's gonna, favor. Someone's gonna You're gonna use it now? Yeah. Yes. Do it, Go do for it, it, do it. We use the same die. I'm doing investigation. This is arcana. Arcana. Uh, same, uh, 21. Oh, 21, okay. Nice. Uh, this, is, this is a strong abjuration. Um, it, is, it is protective containment. containment. It, is, it is an element of, of what is probably holding this thing together. And it's no, held no. together, it doesn't look like it's been moved no, at all, no. it's still there. Are there any grooves, pits, holes, or anything on the top of the uh, sarcophagus? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's actually pretty smooth and featureless. Like, of, of, of as much as there's like intricate carvings in other places here you've seen, especially the statues and you know elements of previous chambers that you've gone through, this seems pretty simple. Is there huh? any rivulets or any like trenches on the ground, anything in the ceiling that looks like it could drip blood around the sarcophagus? Make a perception to it. check. <laughs> I also I wanted to check out the wall behind because we came down the stairs. Wow, I want to see that. That, that was. Yeah, yeah that, you go and kind of pa pass by Ford uh, to trace his steps yeah. across the back wall. What? Oh. <laughs> that place is what is that? Natural what? one. Okay. <laughs> this is crazy. So, uh, Ford, you're walking. You're walking back. Uh, you know, kind of heading towards the base of the stairs, and you see a figure step up to the railing. <gasps> Eyes up! Ah. You see a, you all kind of stop and look and glance, and you can see standing there, kind of cloak over the shoulder, uh, a drow figure ah. who goes, ha, well done. Well done indeed. I am impressed by your tenacity and your capabilities. It is with great wisdom that I fled when we first met. <laughs> Do you know where you stand? Bet you're going to fucking tell us. Please tell us. I shout from below. <laughs> Looks over the railing at you with a smile. Welcome to the heart of the king's cage. A relic of the calamity. Devised as a temple built to Torag around a primal fane of corrupting power. It was built secretly by the Allhammer Moradin and Sehanin, the Moonweaver, to lure Torag into its use. Once bound to the Fane, it was instrumental in banishing him beyond the plains 
to his fate within the boundaries of the Far Realm. However, this left the temple still corrupted, and post-divergence, it fell entirely into the control of Torog Zealots and his undying Chosen, who, like his master, could not really be slain. The martyrs for Sehanin fought them to these depths and sealed it with their own celestial life forces so they could all be forgotten. Now I'm curious, why do you seek me out? We've not met before, and yet you so abruptly interrupt a meeting. I'm curious, what stake have you in this game? What do you know of me? Why, why have you followed me? <sighs> Several sessions ago, I don't know. <laughs> He's a source of upheaval. You uh, sort of called out one of our friends over here. So that gave immediate alarm. Had you not done that, maybe we wouldn't have. So, since you love monologuing, why don't you tell us what you want with her? You still haven't answered my question. You were there, you attacked me and my compatriot, you attempted to uh, interrupt what was a, a secretive exchange. How did you come about this information and why? We are very talented individuals. There is a sensitive balance being struck between the dynasty and the empire, and from what we saw, you are trying to upset that. We don't want to see any further loss of life, and therefore we tried to thwart whatever plans you have. Now, are you going to tell us what you know about our friend, or are you just going to stand up there and die? You seem an odd assortment of vagabond mercenaries to be wandering these plains of Jorhas. Where does your allegiance lie? You keep asking questions, man, without answering ours first. Yeah, tit for tat, right? <laughs> Make a persuasion check. Oh boy. I suggest you come clean. Ooh. And I cast suggest. Mm. You cast suggestion. 20 total. Okay. Uh, is that a wisdom save? 17. Yeah. 17, you got it. No joke, double natural 20s. Whoa, ladies. Yep, confirmed. Wow. Why wow. did we get two 20s in a row getting one? Guys. Oh, no. Guys. The dice don't like us tonight. <laughs> but at, in answering your question, goes, well, I had thought you lost, Orphan Maker. For so long, you were the prize of us. For months, we sought the threads of the angel's designs. You and I were the heart in the vessel, working towards her broken request. You watch as his form begins to slightly shift, oh. the drow dropping away, leaving behind red skin, oh. yellow eyes, what? horns that curl up oh. across the head, oh God. and a pair of red leathery wings that lie folded across oh the back. Fuck. A figure you've seen in your dreams and visions a number of times as of late. Swaths of innocence who questioned our holy journey fell beneath our blades, your blade. <laughs> then you vanished, leaving us heartbroken. Ah, to see you again brings me such joy I have not the words. I'm eager to see what you've learned and what you've become while wayward and gone, orphan maker. You wish to know why I'm here? I'm following her design. The Angel of Iron seeks the dark, abandoned children, for she is the mother of all robbed of a greater family. Where these children lie has been cruelly kept from her, from us, until we could reach the great books, the great secrets. Here, you have aided me in finding one such lost child. And for that, I am eternally grateful. Her grace shines with you all, it seems. Who 
Who is the angel of I am? Yeah. She is who she is. Yeah, yeah, what yeah. What does that yeah. mean? Well, it seems the time is nigh. Come join me in welcoming our new brother to the arms of our angel. The wings kind of. <laughs> And he takes off, flying above you in the chamber. No. No. Just kind of taking a central position above you, about 20 your feet. Reaches and pulls out what looks to be a stone slab no, and begins to read loudly. <laughs> All right. Yep. Let's go ahead and roll initiative. Yes. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, oh boy. Plus a D8. Thing. I think we're going into combat, guys, and if we, if we are, you guys should know that this combat is powered by Dwarven Forge. <laughs> Their Hellscape Kickstarter campaign's going on now. It's full of illuminated magma rivers and sculpted devilish details and all the infernal yeah, accessories you need to build your own personal hell. Mine is inside this helmet. <laughs> Campaign ends July 1st. Go support at criticalcritroll.com slash hellscape go! Oh, <laughs> Lord, no. This is bad. Oh. Don't let him out. So. Don't let him out. Oh boy. It's like the ballroom of the Titanic. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. So, Jester, you were down here. Yeah, right there. Ford, you were attempting to come back up the steps here. Yep. Not in Caleb or on the sarcophagus. Correct. On either side. Either side, yeah. Mirrored Ford. Oh, holy shit. Uh, and I was in your bow. Yeah, I was next to Caleb. Yeah. Correct. All right. Oh, Boise. Woo! <laughs> Woo! Wait, Ford, Wait, I, I thought, thought were, he was. I thought you were up top, Ford. No, I was making my was way. Making his way before uh, you. Making, making my way, way up yeah. top. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Far away. So. We're good, 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 we're good. Just a... No! He's more than 20 feet away from me. When he flies over your head, you must rip him. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Onto the ground. That brings us to 25 to 20. Oh. 20. 24. Wow. Ooh. <sighs> 19 to 15? 17. 16. Five. All right. Fifteen to ten? Eight. Also eight. All right. He's probably resistant to fire. Loses? Four. Come on, Cad. You got this. So, top of the round, Jester, you are up first. Yes. You can hear him beginning to read off of the tablet this heavy abyssal phrase. Beginning to spill out of his mouth, resonant and echoing through the center of the chamber. What are you doing? Um. Oh, there's multiple choices here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I've got, I've got two things. I know, I know. I just got to be at the top of the initiative. Okay, so just one second. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm going to. I'm just gonna bust it out. I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna. <laughs> Cast Dominate Person. Yeah. Gonna cast Dominate Person. Yeah. Alrighty. Yes. Ah. He's looking at He's the looking. spell He's looking, it's language. a humanoid. Humanoid, yeah. I can see within range, within 60 feet, so I'll move sure. forward if I need to. All right. Uh, you're, you move a little bit forward just to be feel safe mm. about it. All right, you go ahead and cast Dominate Person. Oh boy. All right, you unleash the spell, and unfortunately, the brain is not humanoid. The essence of this creature is different, possibly Fuck. fiendish. Oh. Sorry. Oh, I thought humanoid meant like it had a the human. A it had human. the shape of like a human. Size. That's not what that means. No. Good to know. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I'm gonna um, run forward. All right. And get like uh, towards the sarcophagus, around it. Towards the sarcophagus, within. If I have to jump up on it, I will. 
but I want to get 20 feet from that guy, and I'm gonna, as a bonus action, use my whip. It's an action piece. It's a bonus action. Oh, it's not a bo- You can use it to <laughs> grapple the target, but it's an action to use the it thing. It is, yeah. I understand. Great. Cool. I'm doing real good. It's okay. You still, you still want to be on top of the, car, the sarcophagus? Fuck it, yeah. All right, you got it, Jester. Not nah, you're up. I'm up. Yes. That was great. It was a good Ooh, turn, you guys. Boy, I don't want good him. Move. I don't want him to talk. I don't want him to talk because he's gonna unleash whatever the thing is. So we gotta stop Drop that. that. Tablet. So I gotta. He's, he's gonna defeat this, but I will. Ca- I will break my invisibility and ca- cast cast a spell at him. Tasha's hideous laughter. Tasha's hideous laughter. Alrighty. And take a little piece of tart out and a feather, and I I sprinkle them to the ground, and I say to him, "Hey, what does a devil in a tree have in common? Intelligence." That's it. That's my joke. <laughs> What's the DC? 15. <laughs> yeah, that's no effect. The joke does not land. Damn. She continues to read unfazed, concentrated. No, oh, uh, e. just in, in completely enraptured by the words that he's speaking, eyes wide, smile on the face, unfazed by your spell. I don't want to fight a word. I don't, oh, I don't want to fight a, a worm with a crown. I don't think we're going to fight the worm. We're going to fight whatever the worm servant was. Is that your turn? I will move away from the sarcophagus as far as possible and try to hide. Bonus action. I'm trying to get at there you. There is like nowhere, to hide. nowhere to hide. Nowhere to the run open. to. Well, then I'll just crouch. You could move this way if you want to try and get behind the alcove, but that's. You're not invisible you. anymore? No, because I cast a spell. Um. God no, I'll just it. I'll stay there. So stay mad. There. Stay there. All righty. So, Oban, the fiendish individual, continues to read. Does anyone here speak Abyssal or understand? One of us does. Oh yeah, because you're now apparently a devil. And you used to Jesus. work with this motherfucker. <laughs> I need more answers. I didn't get to escape questions. You're gonna have to. No, me. The phrase you hear <laughs> this round. <laughs> Is by light or by blight, the dark eternal shall not be confined, shall not be contained. That is the extent of the phrase you hear this turn. As he finishes that phrase, both of the golden sigils on each side of the sarcophagus begin to glow. The chains are beginning to rattle. Oh, God. That finishes. Actually, for his turn, he's going to fly up a little higher. Ah. We get right up to the ceiling and is now right against the. the top, the wings kind of. You can see now the daylight spell brightening up. The whole mural is encasing him. He looks like he's almost becoming part of it, the way the shadows are moving. As the wings flap, you can see the arms reaching around and the screaming head of Torog, the crawling king, just still behind, framing him. Okay. So, next up, we have Ford. Fuck it. Let's just get it. I'll go up to the top of the steps. 25, 30. And I'll reach back to those dark thoughts from my dreams and see a creature moving in the background. I'll point and make my eyes roll back and I'll say, Bokra! And summon Ooh. a greater demon oh right above God. him. Okay. You guys huh? with us? Where do you want to throw demon it down? Fight. Right up, demon right up fight. in front of him so that he reaches out and goes <laughs> and just grabs him right in the air. Like right there? Oh, yeah. Man. And I will tell him to. <sighs> Crush him. Just cr- squeeze and grapple him. Crush him. Okay, let me go ahead and bring up the Bulgaras. So here. I like this this like Castlevania. Yeah. 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 So he just busts through reality like the Kool-Aid man in yeah. open air. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay. So you're doing it has it's bite and it's fist attacks. Are you just attempting to grapple? Is that what you're trying to do with it? Yeah. All right, so there's no damage. Yeah. Sure. But it makes three attacks, so you can attempt it three times. Go ahead and make one attack with the Barlgura. I should have looked up his stats. I'll do that in a second. I'll say you get, I'll allow two attacks, because he is falling from the ceiling. I'll say it has time to get two attacks in before he falls out of his range, okay. since this creature cannot fly. That's a seven. <laughs> oh no. It swings wide, trying to bite, and while he's concentrating, shh, darts out of the way, and a peripheral is paying attention to the assaults around it. And uh, 17. Total 17? Mm hmm. 
misses. All right. Damn it. Ducks out of the way. Bulgura tumbles down to the ground. Impacts. That's uh, it. Suffers. Eight points of bludgeoning damage from the fall, <laughs> cracking the stone on the ground, and then roars up towards it. Its third attack going to waste. Yep. That finish your turn, Ford. Uh, with my bonus action, I will cast Hexblade's Curse on our friend Ovan, the single malt scotch. Great. What's the range on Hexblade's Curse? I think it's 120 feet. Let me double check. Hexblade's Curse. <laughs> Nope, never mind. I gotta be within 30 feet. Yeah, you got a little bit Same. closer for that, buddy. Yep. That's okay. We'll get there soon. We'll get there soon. <clears throat> okay, so finishing Ford's turn. Yasha, you're up. Bo and uh, Caleb, you're on deck. Okay. Uh, I am very, very angry, so I would like to rage. Sure enough. Yes. Um, and. Rage. Rage. Um, I would like to get on top of the sarcophagus. You got it. Step yes. over, kind of pushing, yeah. pushing past uh, Jester. Okay. Uh, I can't reach him, can I? He's about 20 feet above you right now. Or no, actually, he'd be about 30 feet above you because there's 20 feet down and then 10 feet up. 15 feet up. So yeah, he's about, he's about 20, oh, fuck. Uh, 30 feet above you, yeah. Um, okay, I yell it up at him in Abyssal and I say, come down here so I can help you finish. Make a persuasion check. Awesome. Or no, this would be a deception check. Deception. Deception? Deception. Damn it. <laughs> yeah, she's not good at lying. Nope. I'm terrible at it. <laughs> <laughs> Two. <laughs> <laughs> the speech that he's shouting outward falters for a second and the eyes dart towards you and you hear a and he continues on to the next phrase. Unfazed by your attempt to draw his attention. Uh, okay. <sighs> Shit. Maybe. I can't reach him. I can't do you anything. You can hold it. Hold your turn until you can reach him. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll hold my action and, until he gets within range if he does. Okay, you got it. Bo could, and uh, Caleb. I'm going to beat up to it. I'm backing away from the sarcophagus, sarcophagus towards where Bo is. Ha, 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 ha. Pulling out uh, the cat mint bloom that I have, and I cast um, cat's ire, and uh, a small uh, spectral frumpkin appears just above his head up in the air for a split second, and <laughs> giant hand above, and I'm going mm. to use my action to shove him down to the ground. Strength save. Okay. And I can push him 30 feet. Ooh, all righty. So appearing here above to attempt to slam him downward. It's a strength save, you said? A strength Come save, on. yeah. You got it. Four slam. That is 21. Oh. Saves. The hand slams, and while still reading, kind of puts one hand up and shoves it off, and it <laughs> slams into the ground before recovering slightly. What does he have in his hand, like a stone? Somebody dare him to come to the ground, just dare him. Maybe not. Yeah. I dare you to come down here! Can That's kind of what... Can silence him? <laughs> so there you go. I know. All right. Beauregard? All right, I'm going to try some shit. Um, I am going to take off running towards the Bulgara. Okay. Bulgara? Bulgaria. Uh, Towards ba Bulgaria. 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 Yeah, I'm gonna, have, <laughs> and as I run, I'm gonna go and crash my lightning gloves, lightning together. gloves together. Alrighty. And I want to run. Can I like parkour, jump on top of Bulgaria and jump and try and lightning him? You can certainly try. Off the you line. can certainly try. Excuse me. Try. Point of order. Sorry, I was going. The hand has a strength of 26. So he goes down. Now what's the DC? It's the it's, it's the strength. strength. It's a contest. Well, you have to roll a strength check for the hand. Is how it works. Okay. And he rolled twenty-one. Rolled twenty-one. Uh, hit points. It drops. A, it has a strength of twenty-six plus eight. Sorry. So roll. Nineteen. Nineteen oh. still fails. But good. But good call. Yeah. Strength contest means you actually roll yeah, contested. So good to know for future. Mm -hmm. That was close. That was very close. All right. I'm so so regard. Go ahead and make an acrobatics check Bul to attempt Bul to leap off the Barl Gura. Barl Gura. Ooh, uh, 
uh, acrobatics. Yes. Uh, 16. 16, okay. So you run, leap, right as it lands and cracks in the ground and winds up. You see that moment, leap, smash the fists together, they charge with lightning, you land on its back and you feel it and as it tries to reach up for you instinctually. You use that to springboard up and you're about 10 feet below Ovan, who's still reading off the tablet. I want to do like a big kind of barrel swing and go bam, bam, in oh, the air. Go for it. Nice. Is this with the lightning? Yes, both attacks. Okay, one is a uh, 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 28. 28 hits. The other is 17. Misses. Okay. One goes wide, one does manage to send one blast of lightning energy out of your fist, smashing into his side. Okay, nine damage. Nine damage. How do you? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> the impact hits and it, lightning charges through. You see him take the impact and go to his teeth a bit, but he seems. Am I able to do a flurry of blows? Or is that extra? Is that super Just too a couple, much? Like, wow. you're sitting. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, as I'm falling, I try and shoot some kicks. <laughs> yeah. I'll say, I'll, I'll, I'll say roll one more acrobatics okay. check. One more acrobatic check. This is a DC of 25 to attempt to do this. Ooh. You're basically having to land, and while the Barl is trying to grab at you, you jump off his fist to try and get a second point of height. But uh, okay, uh, wait, what was it? 25. 25. 22. 22. Ah. Your foot just slips off of it, and you tumble off onto the ground. You don't hurt yourself, but unfortunately, you're unable to make it into a flurry of blows. Okay. But you still got one hit off. Okay, okay. That finishes your go, Beauregard. Caduceus, you're up. Man, this is just a mess. Uh, I'm going to. Uh, yeah, I got nothing really particularly good right now, so I'm just going to put a. Uh, um, Do you want to put the ball girl at the boss of the initiative or somewhere random? Uh, go ahead and let me show for you. And you might come quiet. I'm going to put a bless on, uh, on Bo. I'm going to put a bless on Yasha, and I'm going to put a bless on the Balrog. The Balrog? The okay. Balrog. Right, bless there, and bless on Yasha, you said? Yeah. You got it? 11 for the Balrog. So you've got okay. a d4 on your attacks and saves now. Oh, thank you. What is it, a d4 on attacks? d4 on attacks and saves. You guys both got eight for your initiative, was it? All of them. Eight. Eight. Yeah, yeah. kind of until, right. until I get hit real hard. Okay. Um, okay. I'm going to uh, back up a little bit up the stairs and try and get some vantage. Four further? Yeah, that's that's about right. Yeah. Right there? Okay. That finishes your go. Top of the round. Yeah. Jester, it's your turn. Oh boy, decision time. Decision time. Pressure. Sweat. Be smart. You've got this, baby. Well, my choices are blindness, deafness. Seems good. Or I can try to whip him down and bring him down with us. I feel like he might have a resistance or a save or something. I know, but he's also hard to hit. That whip just has to hit. Um, I know. He's kind of rolling an advantage. I know. Spell saves. Thank. It's up to you. I think grapple doesn't mean. He it's would necessarily drop his shit, though. But either. it's an automatic pull, pull I think, according to the spell, if, if she hits. I'm going to try to whip either. and grab the tablet. Yeah! Okay. Oh, okay. oh that's shit. Good. That's even harder to hit, because it's a specific Ooh. thing in his hand. It's not just him. But but you can attempt to. He's, she's close. You're, he's within range, like yeah. just at the cusp of your range. So you can try and hit him, or go for the tablet. The tablet. Pulls his habit out of his hand, but it technically would be considered uh, three quarters cover. Because so Yash is still holding, and you're right yeah, next to each other. Okay, yeah. I'm just gonna, I'll just okay, aim okay. for him then, I'll just aim for him. Okay, make an attack roll. So it's Channel just Princess it's Leia. D20 plus your strength modifier. Are you proficient with whips? Simple, simple weapons. weapons? Simple weapon. A whip is a simple I'm weapon. Fishing. I think it is. Need to check. Does that no. <laughs> <laughs> not a harem. It's not in a harem. No, no, I'm sorry, it's my lack you know. of vocabulary. But yes, my the whip mom is probably is a, is a, no, The whip is a martial melee weapon. Oh, okay. It is oh. not considered a simple weapon. Oh, shit. Um, that is what you have proficiency? It doesn't matter. It's, it's I can't. Proficiencies. Yeah, so you don't get to add your proficiency bonus. You do get to add your strength modifier oh, to whatever. Awesome. Come on. Come on, strunk girl. Come on. Jester's having our Cardi B moment. Mm-hmm. Ding dong! Must be 
find the new crib for my daughter. I fail. Three. 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 No. She cracks loudly and echoes through the chamber, but unfortunately does not find purchase on your target. Fine. You still have your bonus action. Yeah, That's for awesome. my bonus action, I'm going to cast Spiritual Weapon. Okay, what level? Uh, let me see. Third level. Okay. No, fourth, fourth level. level fourth it. level. All righty. Oh, am I? Yeah. You're putting it up oh. with him there? No, I'm going to cast it at second level. Okay. Up by Oban? Yeah, and just try to <laughs> smack him down. Go for it. Make yes. a spell attack roll. We got a lollipop, a cat's paw, yep. and a giant that one hits. <laughs> baristro or whatever. That definitely hits. Baristro. <laughs> yeah, that definitely hits. Go ahead and roll that. Eleven. Eleven points. Pretty damage. <laughs> It slams in the shoulder, and you see him kind of duck the wings, falter for a second. He has to get back up to his space, writes his face, and just keeps reading. But took a hit out of him. Dang it. I finish your turn? <sighs> Not, you're up. I'm going to try something that will also fail, but I got, we got to stop him from reading this thing. Yeah. Go uh, I step forward just a little, uh, so I'm within 60 feet. I will cast. Phantasmal Force <laughs> at him. Phantasmal Force. Yes. Oh, wow. All right. Intelligence save this Scare time. Her. Maybe it won't be as at an advantage. 15. Uh, 20. Sorry. Damn it. Did you roll with advantage? I guess I won't know that. <laughs> Shot banged him. Ball sack. So the, the, the effect releases, and you watch as, as the effect of the Shit. arcane sparkle attempts to penetrate the side of his face, and then it just kind of dissipates off. This dude. Like water dripping off the side this dude. of a waterfall. He's All right, I'll use movement and bonus to get behind the stairs. Yeah, can I use my movement to get off the sarcophagus? Five, six. You can get there with your That's movement. That's fine. Okay. You're gonna have the sarcophagus? Okay. How far are you gonna move from which direction? Back. Back this way? Yeah. All right. 20, yeah. 25, right there. You got it. That finishes your turn. Oban continues reading. You recognize the language. The phrase he says is, the bonds of the clean wither with flame expended. Chains to chains, to be bound is to break free. Fulfill thy destined path and awaken. The tablet flashes. The chains shatter off, and the lid explodes upward. You need to go ahead and make a dexterity saving throw for me, Asha. Good boy. Uh, add a d4. You have to add a d4 because you're blessed. Well. Hashtag okay. Hashtag fuck! Maybe it's friendly. Um, Ancient, buried, god, Sorry. Torture. I would totally feel like I should have just all Yeah. To be fair, he was okay. rolling really well on some of those two. We were throwing everything. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You, you, you guys had some solid You guys had some solid plans there. It was just the dice that happens. I'm sorry. We do not do well in 23. 23. Historically. Historically. You managed to just I barely I know what a humanoid was. make it out of the way and catch yourself on the ground as the stone lid woof, flies up and slams into the mural. Oban barely dodges out of the way. Actually, I should roll a saving throw for him, too. Thank God. <laughs> a lid hits him. Yeah. yeah. A lid hits him. But we yeah. fucking he couldn't. Yeah. He gets hit by the cork from the champagne bottle. Takes eight points of bludgeoning <laughs> yeah. damage. More people die from that than lightning strikes every year. That's not no. good. It's As true. the lid slams into Oban, the, the, the tablet stumbles out of his hand, manages to re catch himself there in the air. Oh, no, no, what's inside it? What's in the box? There's a brief moment. No. Let him of quiet, as you see mist kind of pouring out of the inside. A large, meaty, pale hand <laughs> grasps the side. And we're going to take a break. No! We're about to go into probably a longer second battle. This is a beat where we can. It's going to be a master debate! <laughs> 
we'll come back uh, with whatever yeah. this thing is. Uh, we're going to be fighting, fighting all night. <laughs> Let's just do it that way. We'll all simultaneously master the battle ground that lasted we don't three weeks. The climax of the battle early. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Okay. okay. I haven't done a good dungeon call in a while. This, uh, is, this is an elaborate one, guys. Yeah. I, hope, I hope you're having fun. Oh, it hurts. Jeebus. We'll be back here shortly to pick up with this moment of combat. In the meantime, we do have our giveaway tonight. Oh. We have the uh, rock maple wood from our friends at, uh, at Wormwood made this dice vault. This is the Mountain Dwarf, so you can see the actual runes on front. This is for keeping the dice in, it's magnetic. Ooh, it's awesome, crazy. and one of your lucky folks will win this. It's super awesome. cool. Uh, it has a granite inlay, which is fun. Uh, tonight's keyword is mirror. M I R R O R. So enter the word mirror once, more than once, to be disqualified into our chat. Uh, for our folks in the US and Canada, excluding Quebec, you have the chance to win this when we return from our break. We'll see you here shortly. 69. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect warlock, her weapons and supplies. But you need a place to track your stuff, cause you're so disorganized. You click open the web page, you heard about a critical role. And now you're ready to kick some butt in that mine shot full of no. Hi, I'm Benwin Bronzebottom, celebrity dwarf and video game enthusiast, and this is my sidekick, Crowey. Hello. We're here to tell you about Idle Champions of the Forgotten Realms, a Dungeons & Dragons-based strategy management game from Codename Entertainment. They're Canadian, so you know it's good. Let's talk about the game. Did you ever play Cookie Clicker? Of course not. This game is a management game like that, but with far more emphasis on strategy. And with a flavoring of D&D's lore and legendary heroes, you can unlock your favorite champions like Farida from Aaron M. Evans' Brimstone Angels Saga, Minsk and Boo from Baldur's Gate, and the fourth and final member of Acquisitions Incorporated, the C-Team, Amy Falcones, Walnut Dongross. The K is silent. Create the best adventuring party possible based on the formation options, your character's ability, and the obstacles and enemies you face. Or you just randomly click on things like I do and hope for the best. You can click on enemies to assist your champions, or you can set them up and walk away and let them do their thing. It's entirely up to you. I'm playing on the toilet right now. Why wouldn't you be? Idle Champions is available on all your favorite gaming platforms, including tablets, for the low, low price of free. Free. So download it now. End with joke. You're not supposed to read it that. It says end with joke. No, we're supposed to come up with a joke to go with oh. where it says end with joke. I don't know. End with joke is pretty funny. Wait, on three. Ready? Yeah. One, two, three. End, end with, with joke. joke. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's funny. It's very funny. Delightful. Unrivaled. Beauteous. Sublime, ceramic, the best part of this mug is that it can hold ale. <laughs> Last time on Tox Machina. Okay, that's, that's good. Yep, you're good. I feel better about that. I feel great about it. <clears throat> It's kind of doing some weird shit to me, you know, Ryan, because... that's all yours for a couple more days. <sighs> yep. Don't remind me. Hmm. Yeah, this is your last uh, talks for a little bit. This is my last talks for a little bit. And then episode 69 this week will be your last CR for a little bit. That's a bummer. Sorry, folks, it's a but... Bummer. Um, <laughs> Good one to go down on. I mean, out on. I, we're gonna finish. Uh, <laughs> that was good. We're gonna finish soon. I mean, finish strong. He he did sort of like a homebrewed version of the gibbering mouth, which is just like the thing. John Carpenter's the thing is a big blob with mouths and Wait, teeth no, and eyes. Wait, no, what are blondies? Oh, I thought you said you did say blondies. Blondies are like chocolate chip cookie uh, brownies. It's uh, oh, there's like chocolate chip cookie. Yeah, in there. It's yo, like a yo, yo, yo. Cake oh, with you know, you know You're when you know when we get Domino's and I get that ch or one of the places. Yes, and yes, I get yes, that. yes. And it has the cookie in there. Ooh. Ooh. Let's go. Is Jerry still here? Can he get us a giant cookie? 
Cherry, do you want to run out and get a cookie? No. no. What he about said, blondies? No. <laughs> what about a blondie? You want to go get us a couple of blondies? <laughs> Please leave him alone. He's so tired. Do you know what's cool? <laughs> cosplay of the week. Ooh. Hey! Yeah. Cosplay of the week! Yeah. Thank you. Our winner for this week <laughs> was sent in. I was waiting for somebody else to yell or to do anything. <laughs> By, if we're off next week. We're all a little loose, right? Sarah Dernesk. Yep, At Dernesk. Dernesk. Photo by Adrian Eric Morales. Too many names. Let's take a look. Oh, oh my goodness. How about that? I've not seen that one. She's got that. She's got the hat beautiful. and the broom. I love it. That's great. Oh, the cape. Good ears, too. Plus, what a cool yard she has. Max is a flat earther, I found out today. Dang, I didn't know that. <laughs> he, he had a... He had a I'm wind, not going to stop him. He when had he a tries windbreaker on from the convention that he was just at this weekend. <laughs> and I said, "What a cool logo!" And he was like, "Yeah, it's a patch." And he took it off, and he goes, "It's flat, just like the world, bro." Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, I know it's foolish, but I hate to naysay him because it's the only thing that he gets passionate about. Yeah, I know. I it's know definitely he went not to, his fucking work. I didn't know he went to FlatCon. There's no way, it's round. <laughs> yeah, he went to FlatCon. There are some ways, yeah, FlatCon. <laughs> Max is a DPB flat earther. <laughs> <laughs> it's canon now, Max. Congratulations, Max. DPB flat earther. <laughs> what do you use? Are you using Jiffy tonight? <laughs> oh no! Thing, put the flat thing on him. What, what's the flat thing? Oh, yeah, the, 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 the. What are you talking about? Yes, this light bar you thing? Oh, you're talking about Spurts. Yes, Spurts. He has Sorry, a name, name. Babe Christopher I know, I Perkins. I forgot. I forgot. Chris, I'm so sorry, man. I apologize. I, I was trying I to. I apologize. Here, give oh, him, no, him Spurts is Give him the, the Tusk Love book. Okay. Oh, oh so cute. Oh, so cute. <laughs> Lights, butt ends in 11 days. <laughs> <laughs> He's. <laughs> He loves toys. He'll probably chew on spurt. <laughs> Henry, come, on. Go, come, come on. Welcome come to our public access show about dogs. Come on. Come on, big boy. <laughs> come on, everybody. This, this boy, boy is available for adoption. Do no, he's do not. Do do I'm do. just kidding. I'm doing like a public access. I know, but just hey, don't tell me. This is my biggest dog. Wrong here. Idea. You can have a 69 pillow yeah. here if you there want we to rest go. on it. That's not going to be comfy. Here we go. This side will, though. Ashley. Yes. Oh, that's a sweet Are these words connected? Hold on, let me do this You're just yelling verbs or something. Away, a whimper escapes my mouth as his kisses move down to my chin, my neck, my shoulder. Mm. Gripping my sheet in his huge hand, he pulls it down and I let it fall. Even in the cool night air, I'm burning up as his lips brush my collarbone and chest. My exposed nipples stand so erect. <laughs> can we say that keep word going, on keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. You're picking the, the most not. interesting syllables to stress. Because <laughs> I'm trying to make it a little acceptable Ashley's for a voice Twitch. actor. Hey, Christina, package. Christina, tell me your backstory. Have you always wanted to be a voice actor? He's here. Who's here? A lonely tavern set, strangely absent of streaming content. Its patrons waiting for a way to reach their critical role content. Travelers waiting to board the subscription train. Through a twisting series of tubes and satellite waves, 
We here at Critical Role deliver digital content, the form of what society has come to know as shows. If you would like to view these shows on demand after the live premiere, you need to enter the Shadowland known as the Twitch Subscription Zone. It is simple to subscribe, but there are many paths one may take. This Gordian knot can easily be cut with a credit card. However, if one has an Amazon Prime account, you are guaranteed one free Twitch subscription a month to the channel of your choosing. But remember, freedom demands agency. For Twitch Prime subscriptions, do not auto-renew, and you must resubscribe each month. For those already in the subscription zone who want to spread their fortune, you can gift tickets to the subtrain by invoking the gift a sub button on Twitch. Yes, join us. There's plenty more room for critters in the Shadowland. We here at Critical Role want to say thank you to our esteemed subscribers and hope you enjoy as much of our content as you can consume, including our emojis by Arsqueef. And so ends another inexplicable journey, a twisted car ride shrouded in fog with your high beams on. A complicated parody promo. The Twitch Subscription Zone. Subscribe. You need to subscribe. Twitch Prime subscribe. Gift subscribe. Subscribe.
welcome back. <laughs> so, before we get into the next leg of this yeah. combat, nice. we have our winner of our Wormwood giveaway who gets the Dice Vault, the Dwarven Dice Vault. The winner is Default Prophet. Default Prophet. Default Prophet, congratulations. We'll have that sent to you ASAP. Now, <laughs> I've always player. wanted to do that. Yeah. So, to me back on where we were. So, as the lid of the sarcophagus flies into the ceiling, shatters in a cloud of dust and stone, you watch as a giant, pale, meaty hand <laughs> grabs the edge, the mist parts, as you see a hood and cloak, deep brown and oily black stained in places rise out of it, standing to a full 10 feet in height, the cloak obfuscating much of the torso, dangling just past the, four, the, the forearm area, where you see the one large hand lifting itself up. You see, just beneath the hood, a bit of a sagging open jaw, sharp broken teeth, the skin itself pale, dirty, and weirdly twisted to look like some sort of horrifying mockery of a human face, with just the bit you can see. You see like red stained leather that goes across the body and legs, heavy boots as it steps out. The right hand is missing below the, the forearm, and where the hand would be, you see a long, double-sided blade. That's a problem. <laughs> affixed and built into its arm. Oh, shit. Damn it, oh, oh, let's see, let's see. Oh, oh that's huge. That thing is huge! What? Are you not? Oh big. no! It's a nightmare thing. That is uh, no. entirely too big. You no. should see it from this side. It's awful. Like, turn your spin around it's down to the end. Let's see. He emerges. This hey! He I just walked over the trampoline. <laughs> <laughs> he does a Let's slow 360, so you can get a good draw. He shows oh, off his. <laughs> He walks to the edge of the walkway and pivots <laughs> and turns. <laughs> All right. It's fabulous. It's like curious. Damn, I look good. I had my beauty rest. <laughs> As it emerges, God. Oban shouts, Yes, child! Come, join us. Please eat Oban. And the creature just quietly looks up. Ozzy oh, Osborne, that shit. Yes! It looks angry, but also weirdly grinning. Oh. All right, okay. that finishes okay. Oban's action. Oban is going to go ahead and shift out of the space and fly. Well, who are we going to first? Over up above here, your <laughs> spiritual weapon remains right there. And that's going to finish his turn. Uh, it is now the Laughing Hand's turn. He's made of cheese, like the laughing cow. No. No. Oh, Jesus. So you abandoned it so fast. Yeah. Farewell. Laughing cow, no. Guys, no. No. this is the kind of fight that characters die in. Yeah, no, we Circle know. It up. looks. Oh, we know. It kind of seems to. You don't. You don't see the eyes. You just see the hood hanging in front of the face, the grin across its weird, sallow jaw, as it spans across. It raises its other hand, and you hear this high-pitched whistle sound of as it purses its lips together. What? As it raises its hand, you watch elements of shadow <gasps> begin to shift. You watch as hound-like bodies emerge from the nearby unlit corners. No. What? This is a this is a bad. This, this is, is a bad. bad. This, is this is bad. This is the bad. No. Oh boy. Oh god. And you turned on okay. the dance floor. What's up? Oh, this is a bad. <laughs> Oh God! Oh God! What was that Caduceus line from the past? We're running. It's bad. <laughs> yeah. We're running. It's bad. <laughs> <laughs> we might have to run. We do need to figure something out. The laughing hand turns. No. Uh, let's see. Let's see who it turns to first. Looking at me. Yep. Step forward. Oh, no. Not just Loom forward. Already uses action to summon the Shadow Hounds. Why is it always you? But dude? it looms up towards you. And just kind of under his breath, you hear. The Shadow Hounds go. He likes okay. jokes. He's happy guy. And this one's going to go ahead and rush up to Caleb. Oh. The Shadow Hounds. Both of those on uh, Yasha are going to have advantage in their attacks with pack tactics. 
Pack tactics. Fuck. Pack tactics. Pack the first one. Pack tactics. That's going to be a twenty-four to hit. That doesn't hit. Yes. It second does. one. <clears throat> that is a fourteen to hit. That does not hit. So the, set, the second bite. You manage to hold it back with your hand and kind of grab the snout. You can see its burning red eyes, smoke and black kind of shadow energy just drifting off of its body. This kind of faint, dull purplish glow on the inside of its torso, just slightly lighting it from underneath. As you push back the one snout and it barking and snarling at you, the other one <laughs> leaps on and grabs onto your shoulder. You take. Pardon me. D4s are hard to pick up. Uh, you take eight points of piercing damage, reduced to four. Okay. And I need you to make a strength saving throw for me, which you have advantage on because you are raging. Plus a d4. Saving throw, you said? Yes. Yeah, and you can add a d4 to that. <clears throat> oh shit. Nice. 24. 24, okay, yeah. It tries to wrestle you to the ground, and you're just going to pull out of its jaws and ready yourself. Both of them now snarling and getting low, getting ready to pounce in your direction. That I finished, showed my teeth and I snarled back. Good, good. That finish is now forward. It's your go. You can see the entity is now walking across the center way towards Jester. Its large bladed arm, probably close to six to eight feet in length from where the blade begins to tip, kind of rearing back as it approaches. What are you doing? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been a while. Uh, I will uh, come down two steps so that I can see. Um, do we have a name for this Grim Reaper looking the motherfucker? Hand. The Laughing Hand. Yeah, sure. Uh, so I can see LH, uh, and I will fire two blasts of uh, Eldritch Blast into its into the side of its head, trying to get its attention. Okay. Uh, 16 to hit. 16. Shh. Manages to like hit the cloak and burn part of it, but it doesn't actually impact the entity. And the second one is a 21. 21 does hit. Go ahead and roll damage. 21 hits. So everybody right hearing that. Okay, good deal. And that's 9 plus 5, 14 points of force damage. 14 points of force damage. It impacts the side of it. It barely moves it. This thing's like a brick of muscle. So a brick of muscle. With it, imp my it impacts and you see it like just slightly shift from the blow. Uh, just have your bonus action in your move. 30 feet from the uh, winged devil person ish. Uh, you probably have to move a little closer to get there. He's currently at this point about uh, 15 feet off the top there. You're on the cusp. You might want to move a little closer to get there, but you can. Yeah, I'll move up a little bit just to get closer and I'll cast Hexblade's Curse, um, summoning shadows to. On which one? On Oban or the Laughing Hand? Oban. Oban. Hexblade's Curse is on. Yeah, the magic yeah. flying dick is a problem. <laughs> I came in for the last sentence and it was a winner. That's a winner. The magical flying dick All is right. a problem. That finishes your turn for it? Yes, it does. Yasha, <laughs> you're up. The Barl Gura on deck. Got it. D4's on every attack. Okay. That's right, he can't die. That's why he's I, in a tomb. I don't think he can be killed. No. Who? This guy. The, the oh, deathless right. detained. The one who <clears throat> can't be killed. Uh. Uh, yeah, what well, was the? Lie of the King's instrument. Deathless and detained until the world ends. He's just detained. Oh, well, this is, we'll just end the world. Oh, we can put him back in a box. Silas was deathless. We don't have the box that. is fucking gone. We broke it open. Box is gone, bro. Yeah. Box is gone. Box Gosh, is what are you doing? Okay. We broke the box, man. Say hi to the crawling king for me. I'm going to make my way over to him. Okay. Get Knowing I'll get some two attacks of opportunity. There, or you want to try and flank against the I want to flank. Okay. Both of them attack opportunity against you. Uh, yeah. Yep, since you move out of the space for both of them, they do get pack tactics on you once more. Uh, that's cocked. Uh, that is a 14. That misses, I think, yeah, 15 your AC. Next one is a 22. All right, so the second strike does bite at you. You suffer uh, seven points of uh, piercing damage, reduced to three. And you just push out of the way, pushing around the candelabra, rushing up and flanking the Laughing Hand. What are you doing? Okay. Um, are you reckless if you want to? You don't have to at the moment, because you are technically flanking with Jester, so you get yeah. advantage on the attack. Yeah. Uh, so keep that in mind like for future to... rounds, in which you don't have that advantage. 
Fuck, sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. Which weapon, Skin Gorger or Magician's Judge? I'm going to take out the Skin Gorger. Okay. So, as opposed to the refined blade of Magician's Judge, you pull out the like arced, rusted, jagged, just front, massive, dual handed blade pyramid of the Skin Gorger. Shit. Very pyramid head like, yeah. actually. Okay. Okay, that was a natural 19. Uh, eight, eight, yeah, seven. That hits. <laughs> yeah. So. Okay. Um. Okay. 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 Roll damage against ten. It's your first strike, so you get full round. Seven. Oh, sorry, Divine Fury. I get to roll again. Fourteen points of damage. Fourteen points of damage. Nice. All right. Carve through a big chunk across its shoulder. You see part of the the cloak kind of separate where the wound cuts through, and you can see the flesh kind of lightly bleeding beneath your second attack. Yeah. Uh, natural 19 again. Okay. Yeah. I was going to say, yeah. Do I get times. advantage again? That was advantage I mean, just to see if I get a 20, yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, okay, so that hits, so. The second one is just the 2d6 plus your rage. I'm sorry, I didn't add, uh, it's an extra um, 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 three to that first attack, so okay. 17. I'm you got so it. sorry. So 17 on the first one, and this one is how much damage? Okay, six. Um, I'm gonna try Savage Attack or see if I can get higher. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's better. Twelve points for the second hit. Twelve points, thanks. You carve, this one carves it back the back of its hand. It tries to pull back after the first blow to reach out, and your blade just cuts across the forearm. You can see the large slit where it leaves it. That finishes your turn. You still have a bonus action. If there's yeah, anything to do with it. I'm going to stay. Okay. Finishes Yasha's go. It's the Barl Gura's turn. <clears throat> uh, the Barl, Barl Gura will uh, rush up to the back of the Laughing Hand. <clears throat> Call him Carl Urban. And it, it. Will, it will use both of. Uh, well, if it has three attacks, I guess I'll just try and uh, grapple it again. Uh, the laughing hand, not actually attack it, but try and keep grapple it. it in place. Yeah, you got it. Go ahead and roll an attack. Um, the Barl Girl has reckless attacks. Do you need help? Uh, naturally, if you'll check me. Yeah. Which says it says at the start of its turn, the Barl Girl can gain advantage on a melee weapon attacks rolls uh, makes during that turn, but attack rolls against it have advantage until. Yeah, the start. so it does the reckless feature. The Barl Okay. Yeah. You saw yeah, that totally. And, as and far the as grappling. The wall. Good call. That's it. So instead of an attack roll, it's a strength contestant. So roll a strength check. Okay. It's contested against the laughing hand. Uh, that is an 18 plus 4 is a 22 with a bless of 26 total. 26. Roll 24. It is grappled. Yay, yay, yay. Oh, wow, that's good. Oh, yes. Yeah, so the little yeah, comes good. up behind and goes yeah. and just clasps its arms together. Oh, okay. around that it. makes life. <laughs> grabs it. Okay, that's his first attack. Uh, and can he. Fucking bite into the back yeah. of its neck. Go for it. <laughs> <laughs> Plus seven to hit. That's a 26 to hit. 26 to hit hits, yeah. Good roll damage. 2d6 plus four. Uh, so we're focusing on, on the, the, the big undead uh, ten, guy? 10 points of piercing damage. 10 points of piercing damage. No, I'm just yeah. trying to keep it from fucking cutting Jester in half with that goddamn arm scythe. It because bites it in the side of its throat, kind of through the cloth, piercing it and digging into the side of its shoulder. It's kind of like, <laughs> kind of rummages a bit, but it's, it makes very little noise other than the low chuckling. And that has three attacks, the, the, bar, the bar It does, does have three. Yeah. So roll the, the grapple didn't count as two. Well, the grapple is you use one attack to try and grapple. Great, so. I'll do another, just a fuck another bite attack. Uh, that is a uh, plus seven, so that's uh, twenty-five. Twenty-five does hit. Go ahead and roll damage. Two d six. Five. Oh, that's it. Six. Six points of piercing damage. Six points of piercing damage. You got it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Nine points of piercing damage. Okay. So it bites in a second time. It's like digging and tearing into this this hulking beast versus hulking <laughs> creature. That finishes its go. That brings us to Bo and Caleb. Bo, you're up first, unless you want to hold for Caleb's action. Whichever. 
Uh, I went first the last time, but it doesn't matter to me because I don't know what to do. Oh god, then. Um. Okay, I'm gonna kind of try and pull some shit like I did before. Can I? Hang on, wait. Yeah. Can I try and oh, run please. up these steps, run up to these guys, two, run, two. Mm. and... Make an acrobatics check. Right. <laughs> oh, fuck, let's go! Just leap, parkour, hot. jump off one shoulder okay, onto okay, the okay, second okay. one. Okay, uh, 21. 21. Yeah, you run, jump. Hell yeah. yeah. And <laughs> land right about and there. Do a spinning roundhouse kick and shoot lightning at this guy in the face. <laughs> okay. He's just within your 20-foot range up there. Okay, first two attacks. Those are both, right? are both uh, natural 17s, oh, oh, so yeah. 27. Yeah, both hit. Got to um, that gymnast thing on the railing. The hands. So the legs are out. Eight damage for the first, oh, and stop then tricking. stunning strike. All righty. That is a 17. Fucking saves from it. Second one. All right. Second one. Uh, uh, um, 10 damage. All right. And stunning strike again. This costing thing. Uh, fourteen. What's your My DC? key save is fifteen. Hey. Fifteen. All right. Yeah. He's stunned. Yep. He's stunned. stunned. <clears throat> Wait. Which wait, means wait, dude up top? Stunned oh, the big guy the or big guy the guy or the flyer? No, Oban. Oban. Oh, okay. Does that mean he falls or does he keep falling? I don't right know. I was kind of hoping it would mean Attacks he would fall, against the stunned creature know. have. Incapacity means it can't take actions. Advantage. Okay. Or reaction, so it can no, it can still maintain itself. He's just he can't move. It doesn't say his speed becomes zero, so he doesn't fall. He's he just can't move. Only speak falteringly. So he's like <laughs> super fucking cool. If I would have thought to do that uh, when I first hit him. Um, so every bonus action. Bonus action. I'm going to turn around and flurry of blows the hand. You got it. Spinning around. As a note, too, each of these lightning blasts that hit. Oban, they're impacting, but the lightning isn't doing just as much damage as you used to. I was afraid of that. Mm -hmm. I was afraid of that too. Okay. You fought a few fiends in the past that seem to have an inherent resistance against okay. lightning. Okay. Balls. Like this. The first one is twenty-six. That hits. Stunning strike. I'm burning through all that. How much damage is that though? Uh, sorry, eight damage. Eight damage. You got it. And then stunning strike again. Uh, that is a 20, no, sorry, 19. Uh, yeah, yeah, no. And the second one was 14 to hit. 14 to hit? That does not hit, unfortunately. Okay. Is that with the d4? Uh, no, it was not. Good call. Uh, 17. 17. 17 does not hit. Oh, well. Okay. No. The lightning arcs off for this time, and to him as well, the lightning is impacting and shocking through, but still seems to be not taking the full brunt that you're used to with this type of lightning damage. Let, me, let that crap will happen. Yeah. All right, that's that finishes your turn, Bo? Yeah. All right, that brings us to Caleb. Okay, with one hand that is uh, the bare one, I uh, extend a uh, hand out and uh, Cat's ire flies through the air towards Oban. How far can I do this? 60 feet. 60 feet. And I'm going to swat him down to the ground under next to Beauregard. Okay. Push, so strength, strength contest. Damn it. You have to roll a strength? Can't move. Yeah, I mean, does he have any kind of. You'll tell me. Uh, He's still resisted, he just yeah. can't take actions or reactions. Uh, just a 16, I rolled Logan. Okay, and attacks against him have advantage as part of the stunt feature, but this is an attack against him. Right. So what did you say? I rolled a 16. 16? 16 as well, so he saves. Oh, and then with the other hand, which has got the glove on it, I just unload right in the dog's face Actually, up let against check. me. Let me check on the contested, just to double check. That'd be nice. That would make fun. Do I have to hit with both flurry of blows for extract aspects, or just one? Just, just one. Right? Just, just one. one? Can yeah. I get extract aspects on uh, what's his butt? Oh. On the laughing hand? Yes. Yeah, okay. So from the impact of the lightning and seeing the reaction, you kind of focus on what little bits of its flesh you can see. Um, you know that it is resistant to cold, fire, and lightning. Cold, fire, and lightning. As well as bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing from non-magical attacks. Cold, fire, lightning. Yes. Um, coming to our discussion here. Just a second. Cold, he's fire, not lightning. medium, is he? No, he's large. large. Oban is, uh, Oban is medium. Actually, no, Oban, Oban sorry, this is Oban, Oban is medium. Then I have advantage, so I can yeah. roll again. Roll again. Yeah! That's way better. That's okay. 23. Hey! Okay. Hey. So right down next to Beauregard, I'm going uh, <clears> to. <throat> 
slams him into the ground. He is now currently grounded for the moment. Okay. Stunned yes. and cursed by the Hexblade's curse. Uh, and, I'm un- and I'm unloading Scorching Ray into the Hound's face. <laughs> okay, so that's Let's three that attack rolls. Well. I shout out to everybody about the cold fire lightning situation. You can do that when it comes to your turn. Oh, okay, I do that when it comes to my turn. Shout out. Do you want to give a shout out to Simo? Unless you want to use a reaction to shout it, it's up to you. Um. Simo Unless you want to use yeah, that sensory. Yeah, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait. Okay. So what was that? Fifteen for the first the of the three against. scorching rays. Uh, the dog that's right in front. Oh, got you. Because it was right a bonus you. action to that shove is. with cat's eye. So fifteen for the wait, first. Wait, this is a ranged attack. Uh, this is yeah, scorching ray. Yeah, so you have disadvantage in the attack rolls. Okay, so the next roll was higher. So okay, it still hits. So. Okay, still hits. Okay, second. Ray, ooh, 11. 11 is not hit, but you hit. Scorching Ray is a 16. 16 hits, so damage two of the Scorching Rays against the creature. Five, five, nine, the hound 14, 20 the points hound. of uh, fire damage to the Hound. You've got it, so. <laughs> two of them impact, the fire burns across. It seems to burn and take damage, but not as much as you'd expect. Oh, yeah. fuck, fire is Cold fire nice right. bad. And I'm going to run up the stairs. Okay. It's going to be like that. Oh, Lord, isn't it? it takes an attack of opportunity on you. Yeah. That is a 16 to hit. Shield. Shield. <laughs> Reaction. Shield is up. It does not bite you and drag you to the ground. You keep running at 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. That's as high as you can get there. That's pretty good. Oof. That finished your turn? All done. You got it. All right. Finishing that round, that brings us to Caduceus. I got a plan. You do? Please. I got one of us. I got Let's go. A tenth, I've got a tenth of a plan. Okay. <laughs> I've, got, I've got this much of a plan. I'm going to run up right next to uh, uh, Oman over down that just got knocked down on the ground. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And I'm going to whack him. <laughs> Do it. Do it. You have, you have advantage on the attack. I'm whacking him with my, with my staff. Special yeah. staff. Uh, Wiener whack, let's go. Yeah, what is the. Uh, oh, just say there. Yeah. Oh, it's special staff. <laughs> it is. All right. It's not just a stick. Oh, man. Uh, 16? 16 does not hit. Oh my god, you're fucking kidding me. With bless or 16? something? Are you blessed? With I am not did not bless himself, unfortunately. I will lose with advantage, but ah. I rolled really shittily. Um, you swing. You manage to impact the side of the of the wing, but it just glides oh, off. No actual on. impact. Um, how much of my movement did I use there? All of it. All of my movement to get there? To get there, yeah. I am right next to Bo, though, right? Uh, I can allow it to you. Right yeah, that was one. my plan. Okay. As a bonus action, I'm going to cast uh, uh, holy weapon. Holy weapon. Okay. Tap. Ooh, she you are now. Oh, weapon. that's great. Super Saiyan. Hell yeah. You now have um, two D eight. Also, you are a thirty foot radius light source now. Yes. And you have an extra two D eight radiant damage on every hit. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that that is your melee hits. So that doesn't. I don't think that adds to your ranged, ranged. bit because the lightning is what shoots out. The holy you have to yeah. actually physically hit them to do it. Okay. Copy that. Gotta get dirty, dirty. Finish your turn. That's it's an action, a movement, and a bonus action. You got it. All right. <laughs> Top of the round, Jester. This is it. So at the start don't of your. Don't say this is it. Don't Sorry. do that Sorry. to me. Sorry. At the start of your turn, Jester. Oh fuck. Yeah. Oh fuck. The creature is chuckling. And there's all the wounds it took, the slashing and piercing wounds that you can see kind of vaguely through the parts of its cloak that got cut. Laura. You watch as the giant gash this in its it. arm grow teeth and what begin to start fuck? laughing. No. And the piercing wounds in its neck turn into little mouths and start laughing. That's disgusting. And the wall of every wound that's visible becomes a small mouth, and suddenly there's just a cacophony of high and low pitched laughs. <laughs> nope. All around, I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. No. When he puts his hands through his mouth, it's yeah, never it's good. Bad. It's true. What about the You're one pretty one good at wisdom platform? saving throws. What about the one on the platform? No, that one failed me before. <laughs> Twenty-five. Okay. Oh, <laughs> the laughter begins to cause your adrenaline to spike, and your fight and flight kicks in, and you just shrug it off, and you're fine. What's your turn? Whoa. Um. That was it. Freaking out. Freaking out. I'm gonna cast mirror image. 
Casting your image, okay. Yeah. On yourself. Yeah. You are now mirror imaged. Ooh, you have one for it? That's cool. Circle of mirror image. Yeah. Um, oh god. Oh, fuck. It's just for so many funny things. <laughs> Too many things. I remember he's grappled. So many things. I'll put it there. Just a reminder. Okay. Oh, he's grappled still. Yeah. He is, yeah. yeah. I'm gonna cry. You got this. Uh, I don't know. I'm gonna, as my um, bonus action, it's probably not gonna reach. I'm gonna try to get my spiritual weapon to come down at it, but it's. Okay, how far can it move? 20 feet. It's, it's 20. It's now we've been 30 feet in the air, so it doesn't quite get there. Get some doges. But you bring it down, we'll say about. Let's say about there. It's about as far as I can get to reach the ground. Mm. You get it there. Okay, um, and I'm gonna send my mirror images like to scatter, and I'm gonna try to dodge underneath his legs and run towards the forward side of the room while my mirror side? images right. go. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. You get over to that side there. Not next or, to the dog. Yeah, I'll say, I'll say you cross across and leave one of that first okay. step, just dodging the dog space. It does get an attack of opportunity against you. Okay, so um, I he's roll. He's grappled, right? Yeah. He's gonna go ahead and attempt to strike you with the blade arm. He's gra- does the grapple affect that at all? No, grapple just makes his speed yeah. zero. Okay. Coming. Yeah, he does not hit me. It hits one of my duplicates instead. Okay, so when your duplicates disperses, the blade arm slams into the ground. The stone breaks underneath the tip of it, oh, and one of your shadowy images. What did he roll? Hmm? What did he roll for a hit? Uh, twenty-seven. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, that finishes your turn, Jester. Um, no. Yeah, I guess. Not, you're up. So I Boy, I don't know who I'm supposed to focus fire on on here. Uh. Oh boy. I don't think we can kill that thing, so I'm gonna. Obama stuns. So yeah, I'm gonna fresh. step up the stairs a little and try to get a clear shot around the cat's paw, somewhere. I'll okay. move if I have to. Okay, I'll allow it. Maybe the cat's paw is kind of shimmery, yeah. translucent. It's floating. You you slammed it down on the ground. Um, I will. Uh, I will shoot Oban. Okay, you have advantage in the attack roll because he is stunned. Thirteen plus ten is twenty-three. That definitely hits. A sneak attack. Not great. Not terrible. Okay. 25 plus 6 is 31. I'll add Fury of the Small to that. So that's 40, right? I said 31 before? Yeah. 40. 40 points of damage. Slick. As Oban's kind of held in place, kind of trying to shake it out after being slammed to the ground, it takes the bolt. Yeah, that hurt. I'll fire again. Okay. With advantage ones because he's still oh, stunned. Oh, still. On everything. Okay. Uh, 27 to hit. That hits. Four plus six. Ten, ten more points of damage. Ten points of damage. Nice. All right. And then if I have any more movement, I will duck back into my little hidey note. Do that. Ah! And take a swig of booze. Okay. You got it. Yeah, you're not stealth, though, because you use your bonus action to attack. Sure, but you know, you never know. That's true. Maybe they'll forget about me. Maybe. All right, that finishes your turn, Not It is now Oban's turn. He is stunned. He can take no actions. Uh, can't is move. The best, that's the best thing. This is the, the best absolute thing. best thing ever. Yeah, it's, it's great. <laughs> <laughs> I need to use it more often against you guys. <laughs> All righty. Uh, that finishes Oban's turn. Until the end of Bo's turn, he's still stunned. Uh, it is now the Laughing Hand's turn. Mm-hmm. The Laughing Hand grappled. It's going to turn around angrily. Oh, yeah. And unload into the Barlgur. Yeah. I didn't realize the Laughing Hand meant it had hands that laughed. Well, it has yeah. wounds that begin to laugh as well. Yeah, it's it's nice. this horrible screeching, like multiple yeah, voices awesome. of different pitches laughing around as you see the wounds opening and chuckling as they chuckle. Yeah. All right, gross. That's going to be a uh, 19 to hit. That hits. All right. The giant blade arm just slams into the Balgura. It suffers. 18 points of slashing damage. Okay. It's going to go ahead and attack a second time with its blade arm. Oh, damn it. <coughs> uh, so that's a 29. Hits. Oof. Takes 23 points of slashing damage. Fuck. 
and it's going to go ahead and slam with its offhand. Jesus. That's going to be an 18 to hit. Uh, that hits. That hits. All right. Takes 12 points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. And that's. Oh, shit. That's his turn. That's, that's pretty good. All righty. How many points of damage did he cause? Uh, the, Total the, uh, fifty-three. Uh, yeah, that's that's almost uh, that's almost a murder around. Yeah, all right. Ford, it's your turn. You can yeah, you can hear the laughter kind of emanating from it. It's not fun. What are you doing? It's not cool, huh? Okay, I'm gonna go up the stairs around the uh, giant Garfield hand, right. and uh, actually I'm gonna go around the back side. All right. Mondays. <laughs> <laughs> And I will uh, take two swipes oh, at dude. the at, uh, at Oban. Go for it. Uh, Your advantage on these attacks. Oh, their advantage, excellent. Uh, first one is a 24 to hit. That hits. Go ahead and roll damage. Great, 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 I feel like great, I'm going to throw great, great, up right now. I know, I'm literally great, breaking great. out right now. I have two nipples <laughs> that just popped up. Oh, uh, that's uh, 16, 16 points of slashing damage. 16 points, nice, already. Second one. What is this? Oh, uh, that's cocked. You're going to die. Uh, that's a 25 to hit. 25 to hit, that hit, yeah. Uh, Ooh, nice, and uh, uh, 18 points of slashing damage. Slick. He's looking hurt. Great. He's looking hurt. Both strikes slam through. The uh, the shadow emanating from the blade, from the Hexblade's curse, each impact hits the body. You can see the shadow like digging into the wound, forcing the extra damage. That's your move and your action. Oh, uh, that's it. All right, that finishes your turn. Yasha, you're up. Come on, Yasha. <sighs> okay, okay, okay. <clears throat> okay. Um, you know, um, have this like kaiju battle happening next to you as yeah. the Balgora and the Laughing Hand are just slamming into each other with attacks. Uh, what are you gonna do? Okay, Ooh. I am going to oh take an attack on the Laughing Hand. Go for it. Actually, at the beginning of your turn, as the burbling laughter coming from its no. wounds begins to fill your mind, I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. Got this. A wisdom saving throw? Correct. Maybe. You do get a plus D4 to it because you are blessed. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> 19. 19? Yeah. Yeah, you succeed. Oh, you resist yeah. them trying to push their way into your mind. You are still good to go. Yeah, yeah. So, go ahead and take your attacks against them if you'd like. Why not? Okay. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. That is a thrust. 24. 24 hits or 24 damage? 24 to hit. To hit? That hits. Yay. Go ahead and roll damage. I'm so stressed. I'm so stressed. Let me figure out my dice. Okay. The bar rolls on deck. Okay. We're trying to slam him down. Okay, an action. Like, knock him prone. Knock him prone? That would be an attack. Try again. One of three that he has? Yeah. Okay. 21 on the first hit. 21 damage, nice. Nice, Yasha. And I will hit him again. Even you though he's Are you not raging? gonna die. Yeah. Okay. Wait, how, am I forgetting something? No, no, no just yeah, 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 yeah. seeing if you're raging. F his S. Uh, 16? You, 16 does not you can add a D4 to that. Let me see if I can add a D4. 17! <laughs> Damn it! Sorry. I'm over there! I forgot this one. Yeah, you like... gotta run after after you do these attacks. Um, um, attacks? um, um, I don't know if I want to! Up to you. What you doing, Yasha? I mean, Oh, we got dogs too. Yeah, we gotta yeah. get out of here. Oh, we gotta get out of here. Okay, okay. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna. I'm gonna try to disengage. Start running. I'm just gonna start. I'm gonna start running away. One, two, three, four, three, five. Yeah. You can get you that get far. You can't, can't get. Kill take it up there because Jester is in the way. That's okay. That's okay. No. You do get, does get an attack opportunity on you. No, it, it took its attack of opportunity, didn't it, on Jester's clone? Was, it did. It did, but then it's had its turn since then. It yes. did. Oh, it did. Yeah. So we get this reaction back. <laughs> Uh, that is a 15. That's exactly your armor class. That's a bad roll for him. All right. So that's a bad roll. As for you're him. rushing, oh. the blade strikes you in the back between the shoulders, and it kind of penetrates about three or four inches right Ooh. near your spine. You hear it crepe against your skin. Uh, that is 20 points of slashing damage reduced to 10. That's not. She's raging. It's fine. Mm -mm. Got you. 
and you oh, move over there. Here. That is way too much. Yeah. That finishes your turn, Yasha? 10 points of damage. To Yasha? To her. All right. Yeah. To us. Barl Gura's turn. Yeah. Kill him. Uh, the Barl Gura got <laughs> fucked up by the Laughing Hand last time, and in a last ditch effort, we'll try to pick up the Laughing Ham and slam him down onto the floor. I like the name Laughing, laughing Ham. Laughing Ham. Laughing Ham. Laughing Ham. Guard, so contested strength check. Okay, advantage going reckless for a little honey baked ham. Can I open it up? <laughs> Sweet little salt. Uh, 20, 22. 22, that succeeds. Okay. Knocks him prone. Good job. Yeah! <laughs> Uh, and, and keeping the keeping the grapple on top of him, he'll bite down twice with his other two attacks. You've got it. Num what nums. If we just keep covering him in, in cuts, and then he just natural turns into twenty. A... Yay! Okay, right one attack. giant, one big toothy mouth. It's got nothing to stand on yeah. at that point. That's Eight right. Plus he can four. Keep Ooh. develop gingivitis. Oh yeah, like go first. Four. He's this is feet. Cavities. Yeah. Give him cavities. Yeah, give him cavities. Gum disease. Yeah, chains his floss. Yeah. Give him uh, a... 24 on the first one. I'll write it down and tell you later. Do the the one. Can he stand on? How much damage is that? Uh, 24. On the first roll. And just hold his mouth closed. And the second one uh, is a 19 to hit. 19 does does it? Does it. There might be something to do. Four, 14 points of piercing damage. All right, you got it. As it's slamming into it, with each bite you watch as it pulls away, the wounds open up into more laughing, tiny maws across its yeah, body. No. Uh, the laughter getting louder and louder and more oh, intense no. with each strike. Uh, well, the also, it, the damage the Bulgur has been doing to it, not as much as you'd think. His attacks aren't magical. Yeah, but he's a giant gorilla. He is, and he's doing great. <laughs> that finishes, that finishes his turn. Yes. Bo, you're up. Uh, the humans are flip-flopping. Uh, I'm going to move along. I will say, railing. I will say, because it, just because it deals with uh, with the stun the at the end of her turn. Oh, okay, leave it in place for this time because just, I went yeah. first initially before. That because turn, it didn't matter so much because she's a higher dexterity. Go she, she goes I first. Roll okay. with check at the start of my turn. Uh, you were not close enough. No, the bar, bar Oh, the Balgura? Yes, actually. Bar Please do that for me. Carl Urban. That's Is it a wisdom save or wisdom check? Wisdom save. Add a d4. Okay. 12, 15. That's an 8, 15. I have no idea what that monster is called, by the way. So you don't have to reverse the whole turn. Yeah, we're good. All right, so. Uh, I'm just going to lay into Oban. All right, so you move. Do you want me to kill him? I mean, you can you can control yeah. yourself to only. Yeah, if we it's not like we're going to be able to question him in this fucking room. Out of here. Okay, we're okay, okay, okay. Six seconds. Um. Knock him down. Uh, uh pop, pop, pop. Kill him. With advantage, still. We'll take his dead body with us and ask him questions. Twenty-three. Later. Twenty-three hits. That's the way to do it. See. Ah, uh, say. Uh, eight damage. Plus eight damage. Oh, right. Well, well, it doesn't do damage. any plus damage. Just plus attack. Oh wait, no. no plus. Oh, from the plus holy weapon. That's right. Plus two d eight. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Mm hmm. Um, uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> plus another mm -hmm. seven damage. Radiant. Alrighty. You so got I'm it. attack 22. 22 hits. Uh, that's six, 12, uh, six, sorry. Hang on. Eight regular damage. Alrighty. Plus another six. So 14. Plus another five, so 19. 19, you got it, all right. How's he looking? He's hurt. He's hurt. <sighs> Flurry of blows. Okay. Okay, first one. Yeah, yeah, 25. That is. Mm, 11 plus. Nuke. Six do do? damage. So then, alrighty. <laughs> Fortifying on the way out. You got it. And. Mm-hmm. Twenty-eight. Twenty-eight. Jesus. Monk, Nine damage. Monk, man. Plus seven radiant. You got it. <laughs> Looking really rough. Oh, good, 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 good. All right, that finishes your turn. Really rough. Okay. Okay, so Caleb is moving There's along no that railing side. on the side. Mm -hmm. Not at the front lip, but back towards where we came in, as far as he can get, sticking to the wall. And I'm going to use uh, Cat's Eye to grapple Oban at advantage. Oh, 14, just... nope, 22. 22. And then I'll use my bonus action to crush him. Yo. Well, uh, 
That is a 23. He actually beats. Him. Oh, what did I get? 14 plus 8. Oh, 20. Oh, okay. oh sorry, no, 26. Oh, I miscalculated. Yeah. Roll the 26. Roll 26, Still yeah. Jeepers, creep. Natural 18. Yeah. Then I'm done. Okay. Oh, it's gone. Oh, it's sorry. only if you grapple. Only if you grapple, man. Okay. That finishes your go? Um, sure. Okay. Do you have any other ones, actually? No, Caduceus. Is there an action in the bonus? Um, action wow. Grapple. I'm going to... It's done, it's got my chance to get It's done. It's hot as a bonus action. Look at this group of... Motherfuckers. I'm going to. Um, uh, oh, the cat, oh, the cat a is a bonus action. action. Yeah, bonus never mind. So I have an action left. So you do yes. have an action. I was Thank wondering you. why you weren't yeah. using your action. Thank you. Um, Fireball. <laughs> yeah, that's it. No! It's not like it's unfamiliar territory. Don't throw everything into the sun. Uh, I'm going to turn uh, him into a turtle. Okay. Not them giant turtles. The giant the turtle. Snap. The regular giant. turtle. The regular turtle. Let's take him out. Giant acid turtle. That is a what save? 17. 17. 20. Okay. Oh, Please try. That finishes your go. Caduceus, so what are you doing on your turn, buddy? Um, I'm going to uh, take another whack at this guy, I guess. Sure. Do I still have advantage on that? No. Oh, because he, even if he's prone? He's not prone. Oh. He was stunned before. I thought he was prone on the ground. Yeah, he's prone. Yeah, the left hand is, is prone. Oh, so he's not prone. Okay, Correct. that's fine. I'm going to. Oh, so he can actually get an attack of advantage if we if we uh, if we disengage. Yeah. Actually, you are you are technically uh, flanking with flanking with with oh. forward, yeah, so you do get advantage in the attack. It, 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 it. Oh yeah, and then in that case, I will take a attack with staff oh, withering, and maybe it'll actually hit this time. Wouldn't that be Come nice? On. Oh, Come it's flapping hands turn. You're right. Thank you for the reminder there. Oh. You're okay. You're okay. Okay. Uh, this. Twenty. Twenty just misses. Twenty I misses on this mother. Yeah. Serious. I rolled a sixteen and. What are you doing? I'm sorry. That's your spell attack. That's my or staff of withering attack. attack. Motherfucker. Okay. I'm sorry, buddy. That's okay. That's okay. Um. Oh, Jesus. Uh, I'm going to. Then. Uh. Take my movement. Okay. I'm going to disengage. Uh, you can't take the disengage action. No, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna back up and I'm curious if he's gonna take an attack or not. And I'm gonna start heading towards. He is. He's okay. gonna go ahead and take a strike. Sure. He has an abyssal long sword in his hand. It's like Set dark obsidian and stuff. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Bless you. Go for it. Sentinel. Sentinel twenty four. Twenty four hits. Eight. That is a Plus. twenty to hit. Hmm? What's your armor class? Uh, eighteen. Eighteen, so it hits you. Eight plus another seven. Radiant. So another fifteen. Okay. Oof. All right. Yeah. Okay. We're wanting He's to kill hurt. this guy, right? We're He's wanting hurt. to kill him. We're wanting to. Yeah. At this point. To death. Yeah. At this, because we can speak. All right. Dead. So, what kind of damage do he I might take? Disappear. Uh, so sorry, yeah. So we yeah. did hit you with that. You take. It's fair. Foolish. Beans don't disappear, do they? Oh, no, no, no. You take. Nine points of slashing damage. Ow. Plus. Seven points of fire damage. Ooh. As he strikes, the blade <laughs> emanates an arc damage. of fire. It skins across your back. You feel the impact, the blade, the cut, and the fire burning into the wound as you run off. Uh, do I have to make a constitution saving throw? You do. All right. So that would be a total of 16. 16 damage. So, so yeah, so just go for it. Uh, 17. Yeah, you're fine. All right. So you maintain your constitution. I'm going to back all the way up to nowhere to Caleb well, is. I'm going right. to just get in the way of Caleb so that if anything tries to run up on us, that it hits me and not Caleb. You got not it. behind him, in front of Caleb. In front of Caleb. There. Okay. You got it. That finishes your go. Jester, you're up. Laughing hand. The dogs. Oh, that's right, the dogs. Thank you. Okay. Uh, man. Yeah, they're all going to run up the wall. Whoa, what? Oh, fucking shadows. 40. Damn, that's a fast speed. They're very quick, and you can see them. They can climb on the walls without issue. They seem, they seem almost like dive into the darkness and then emerge and pounce. So that's two against Jester. 
Does the radiant light spell do anything to them from from a from a, 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 a bow? Nope. Okay. That is a uh, seventeen to hit. Oh, I guess should I roll to make sure to Does see if they're hit? getting me or the duplicates? Correct. If if it hits, what's your armor Oh no, it's he that don't hit. Yeah, misses. <laughs> uh, the other one is going to go ahead and strike you. That is a that is a twenty four to hit. So go ahead and see. Come on. They hit the duplicate. Shoot, it's the duplicate. You have one more duplicate left, right? Yeah. Alrighty. That finishes. That's there go. So Back down now, Jester, it's your turn. Okay. There are they trapping me in? Uh I mean you could you can't really go up the stairs, it's blocking you. Okay. Um is the spiritual Parkour. weapon uh twenty away from the one in front of me? Uh it could move to mm, yeah, it, it can move over there. Okay, it's gonna try to hit the dude in front of me. All right, go for it. Whoa! Jesus. Natural twin. Oh, yay! <laughs> Fourteen plus eight, I think five is what it gets added to. Correct. Who is the modifier? Yeah. So nineteen. Okay. Hell yeah. Nice. Of radiant the damage. There. The, the lollipop hits it. You watch the radiant energy kind of scatter its form for a second before it reforms back from the shadow. Okay. Um, okay. Um, I'm going to. Fuck. Cast. Fuck. <laughs> I'm going to try to cast Banishment on the Laughing Hand. Okay. Sick, dope. What's the dope DC on that, or the the spell DC? It's wisdom, right? Charisma. Charisma, got 17. it. He's a handsome guy. He's a handsome. He's very funny. Got a good laugh. Twenty-seven. Yeah, well, he's. I'm I figured he was. Him. He's probably pretty. Woo! Pretty. He's probably buffed up. Yeah. yeah. Cool, 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 cool. Tight, 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 tight. Oh. Um, Rolling really well on those. All right. Not all gonna, of them. I guess the fucking. I can't even try Stop. to run past this dog, or. Uh, you could try and make a climb check and rush by and climb up past it if you'd like to. Um, yeah, I'm gonna try to pull a bow and like park. dart out to the side and parkour off Yasha's shoulder and then jump over. Okay, make an uh, athletics check. Or oh, sorry, acrobatics check then. Can I can I help her? Uh, unfortunately, it's a help action to do that. Okay. You have to use an action to do that. 17? 17? Sure. It'll allow you to get it on the opposite side, but that'll be the extent of your movement there. Just a that's as much as, That's all my movement to do that, or? Well, you can keep moving if you want to. You will yeah. take an attack of opportunity. Well, no, it already used. Uh, no, it hasn't used attack of opportunity, yeah, so, so we'll get one from you. I'll try to run up, though. All right, so both of them get attack opportunity on you. They have pack tactics, so they both get advantage on the attack. That is a 15. Nope. Misses. That is a 19. Okay, hold on. Oh, it hits me. All right. But that's okay, that means my duplicate is still up. That's true. You take nine points of piercing damage. Okay. All right, that finishes your turn. It's not your up. Get the fuck out of here. So many people to kill. <clears throat> We're trying to still trying to kill Obon. Yasha, you gotta get out of there. It's up to you. What you doing? I'm gonna try to I'll pop up out of my hidey hole. Mm-hmm. Bloop. I will fire again at Obon, just trying to drop drop Obon. Go is for he it. still stunned? No. Nope. Nope. No. So just a single roll. He's well, he's you're he's engaged. terrible. <sighs> Fourteen. Oh. Fourteen to hit. No. Fourteen misses. Fire again. It goes wide. Okay, twenty-four. <laughs> twenty-four. Shield. <laughs> I hate him. Oh, that bastard. Which. Does it take him to what? Let me see. The Unis, what's the bonus of plus five to AC? Plus five. So, yeah, misses. Oh my god. That was oh, first. How does it last? Just one that one more round. It lasts yeah. for a full round. Can I counter oh, spell? Oh, What? Fucking You're going to counter spell that? No, can a reaction counter a reaction? I imagine yeah. you probably can, yeah. Okay, counter spell. Okay, go ahead and roll. Oh, so well, no, shield's level one. It happens. All right, there you go. Yay. Spell's counter spell. Go ahead and roll your damage. Oh! Come on, oh, kill boys. Come on, come on. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ooh, this is good. Oh, Lord. Um, Could you have 
Okay, he's looking real bad. Like, holy shit. Damn it. It's gotta be It's gotta be like yeah. a point. Okay, that does that finish your turn? Yep, I'll duck back it's, into my hidey hole. It's his okay. turn. <laughs> yeah, it's his turn. It is his turn. Shit. Okay. Shit balls, shit, shit, shit. Let me double check. Hashtag fuck. Who's he gonna go to? Oh yeah, okay. Oh, he's got some sort of fireball. So he some sort of like poof, and we're all around him. He is going to fly as far as he can that direction. Uh, you get an attack of opportunity against him. Come on, Ford. <laughs> Do I kill him? You've already used your reaction this turn. No. Come on, Forty. 43. 23. 23. Shield, he's got his reaction back he on got, his turn. Got oh, wait. Got oh, wait. Me. But I am, no, bl- he's I am casting blessed. shield again because he got his reaction back. Oh, he got his reaction. Oh. 26. That hits? Oh! Uh-huh. You're blessed, sir. Go ahead and roll oh damage. Oh, oh my god. Come on. Ugh, ugh. Eight points of slashing oh damage. Oh my fucking god! No, no! he's not dead. He's got one hit point! He's got one hit point! <laughs> 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 oh, I'm sorry. Hexblade's curse plus four to damage. Oh! Oh! That'll do it. Checkmate. Oh! <laughs> uh, yeah. Sometimes I gotta yeah, remember it. Yeah. All right. So, go ahead and uh, I guess, how do you want to do this? <laughs> As he starts to fly off, I'll just take the falchion and carve up his back right between the wings. All right. <laughs> As he arcs through the air, kind of floating down, glances over towards Yasha as he's falling and says, Avenge me. Never. Make a wisdom saving throw. (gasps) With disadvantage. What? With disadvantage. What is happening right now? Oh no, oh no! Oh. Oh no. Oh. No, please. Nope. I don't want to do this. What was it? What? Two. <laughs> two? Flat two? You yeah. feel a burning, sharp pain in the back of your neck, right at the base of the skull. And this old, forgotten anger wells up within you. Oh god. Oh god. All right. What? He what is. happens? As you see him hit the ground and roll, boof, 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 the body <laughs> turns to mush. Uh, yeah. Like fiends do. We can't ask him questions, though. You've killed fiends in previous campaigns. No, we know, we yeah, but know, not in no, this I campaign. We're surprised. <laughs> <laughs> How are we going to find out Yasha's backstory? Yeah, that's okay. Yasha? Fuck. So that finishes Oban's go. It's now the Laughing Hand's we'll turn. Kill him. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. The Laughing Hand uh, has a movement at the moment, so he's going to go ahead and make a slam attack against the uh, the, gar- the Balgura. Uh-huh. That's a natural 20. Uh, Balgura takes I'm with me. 20 points that? of bludgeoning damage. You cannot see okay. Balgura is toast. Disintegrated. He soaked some damage. No longer grappled. He did. That was awesome. Getting up. Half his movement. Oh boy. <gasps> Shit. <laughs> oh fuck. Leaps. Uh, <laughs> On to the what? upper part there. The laughter now, just louder and louder as it surrounds each and every one of you. Uh, he's going to take his two extra attacks. Um, oh no! One's going to be at bow, and one's going to be at you because he has a reach of ten. So one at bow, one at forward. Uh, let's see here. What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? For bow, that's going to be a twenty-eight to hit. Yeah. No big deal, guys. Yeah. What's it going to be? Eight points of damage or something. We gotta get the fuck out of here, right? Yeah, yeah. real bad. But uh, we haven't no, learned anything roll. about Yasha. And Yasha's. Well, you can you can twenty one points of slashing damage. What? Twenty one. And against you, forward. No. That is going to be seventeen to hit. That is my AC. Okay, that hits. You take 
16 points of slashing damage. Okay. All right. Make the call. That brings us to Ford's turn. I'm sorry. I forgot because of the ring of protection, I have a plus one, so it was a three instead of a two. Oh, <laughs> shit! I don't know if that changes things. I say probably not. <sighs> We're wanting to get the fuck out of here, right? Yeah. And Yasha's all down by herself, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, I will. Uh, <laughs> I will. Um, <laughs> I will use 10 feet of my movement to come around to almost where Jester is. It is right as I get to where I will bonus action Misty First, Step. As you're heading out of the range of oh. this blade, the Laughing Hand gets attack of opportunity against you. Maybe I'll just use my, my Misty Step to start with. I'll just Misty Step straight down to where to where Yasha is. Okay. Oh, yes. oh Letting you finagle that. Unless you, I, I can take it, I did say that. I can take it. All right. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> I know better. <laughs> That is a 25 to hit. That definitely hits. All right. Jesus Christ. You take 21 points of slashing damage. Ooh. God, yeah, okay, I will use my bonus action to Misty Step. Actually, I need you to make a wisdom saving throw for me, please. Oh, that's new. 19? 19. The laughter does not penetrate oh your God. sure fired warlock emblazoned mind. You continue your turn as planned. I will bonus action, Missy step. step down to Yasha, right. right in front of her, and I will grab both of her shoulders and be like, You ready to get the fuck out of here? She's just looking straight at you, and she begins to grin. Oh boy. Oh! oh boy. I'm going to take that as a yes. I will cast Thunder Step. And try and take Yasha with me. Uh, a willing creature goes. The creature instantly. is not willing. A non-willing creature. This <laughs> is getting Shit. interesting. Interesting. Um, Jesus, where is it? Five feet with you. Where is it? Unwilling creature. Oh, they have to be willing. Otherwise, the creature is left behind. Yep. So where are you going? Oh, out. It was so honorable. It was. You appear in the hallway, arms out in front of you, and Yasha isn't with you. And they will take 5d10 thunder damage. Go ahead and roll the damage. That's to both of the... All three of them. All three of them, yeah. Well, Including Yasha? Including yeah. Yasha. Okay. What's the save uh, on that? Dexterity? Uh, yeah, there is a save. It is a constitution, constitution. 18. Constitution saving throw. Yes. Constitution saving throw? Yes. Uh, uh, Ooh, one of them succeeds, one of them fails. Jesus. Jesus. Oh 10, 19, my. 29. God. Wow. 38, 39, 40, 41 points of thunder damage. Wow. Well, that that Shadow Hound is disintegrated from the blast of thunder energy. The other one <laughs> takes the damage, and you see its body flickering. It's looking pretty hurt. You took all of it because it's thunder. And I rolled a twenty for Constitution. You take half damage. Yeah. Okay. What did you? What was the total? Twenty-nine. Forty-one. Right. Yeah, so. so you take twenty points of thunder damage. Okay. <laughs> 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 Oh, fuck. I don't know okay. what happened. She wasn't willing. <laughs> <laughs> I'll use I'll use the. Uh, I have like 20 more feet of movement. I'll just kind of back up the hallway, trying to figure out what just happened. Okay. Yeah. Pulling back, pulling back, pulling back. That brings us to Yasha's turn. You see a tiny goblin hiding right around the edge, who did not hide at the end of their turn last turn. Avenging the old friend as their body dissipates, you rush over the stairs, blade held high. Uh, hi. Go ahead and make two attacks against Nala. Ah! What is happening? <laughs> what the fuck is happening? Don't forget you have Bless, too. So roll your d4s per attack. But what if he doesn't want to bless her anymore? Thank God. Act um, um, um. Bless would have been Bless. dropped, actually. Shit. Bless would have been, been dropped? Bless would have been dropped. When? Oh, because you did the holy weapon. Oh, yeah. Sorry. 
Wait till I rolled twice for uh, two so attacks. No bless there. Two attacks. There's no bless. Mm, I think there may have been some fiddliness yeah, there. Sorry, sorry. That's okay. Brains I'll go ahead and I'll, I'll mark some things. Brain's a little melty. I rolled a three. Or no, I'm sorry. Hold on. Bow still. Uh, so uh, holy uh, holy right, holy weapon, but there's no yeah. actual bless. shit. Oh, no. Yeah. We'll say. Uh, I rolled a ten and an eleven. Well, what? As attacks. Total? Attack rolls? Total. So I rolled a two Oh my god, you ah, did. Ah. That was for the first attack, for the reckless attack, or was that just for both That was attacks? just the first attack. Okay. Yeah. So, go so ahead second and roll. attack. Did she make them reckless? She She's making them reckless. Oh, that hits for sure. It's 21. Did you roll, did you roll reckless with advantage on the second attack? Too? It could have been a 20 as the. No. Okay. Let's go ahead and roll the full damage. Savage attack because that was low. No, that was better. Okay, ten total. Ten points of slashing damage to you, not <sighs> uncanny dodge. All right, so you take half the damage to five. Okay. Mm-hmm. Now she's really not that powerful. <laughs> you shut your damn mouth. <laughs> <laughs> that finishes Yasha's turn. Brings us to Bo and uh, Caleb. Bo, could you make a wisdom saving throw for me, please? Okay. 14. 14. Unfortunately, due to the series of wounds he's taken, the laughter is so loud that it fills your mind with absolute fear. You are frightened, and your speed is zero. Oh boy, this is getting bad. (laughs) Is it the top of my turn? Yes. Do I still have a turn? You do. I will use stillness of mind and take my action to end a frightened, my frightened. Okay, so you're no longer frightened. Oh, no longer Jesus, frightened. okay. Can she still move? Can you still move? Yeah, she's no longer frightened. Oh. Whoa. Oh. Oh. Oops. Monk shit. Still have a bonus Monk action. shit. <sighs> we gotta get the fuck out of here. What are you doing with the rest of your turn? I gotta get out of here. Uh. I'm assuming Ford is saying that we got to get uh, out of here. Yeah. We are all saying we got to get out of here. Um, do I get my movement back? Yeah, Since you I have your movement back because you save from the from and the front. I a, so I have a bonus action and a move. Correct. I will bonus action, flurry of blows. You cannot because you have to use the attack action to go into a flurry of blows. Okay, you are 100 percent correct. So I have no more attacks. Correct. I will. <laughs> I will use um, spin a key point to use Step of the Wind. Okay. And disengage. Alrighty. So you disengage, and where are you going? I'm going to go towards Ford. All right. You run quite a distance following Ford. That finishes your turn. Are we going to have to go back over the bridge? Caleb. Um, Cat's Eye should be gone, because I tried to, I used Polymorph. I don't know. I don't That's true. What's up? Can we shut the door? Uh, I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. Okay. Oh, is that a door on the other side? 24. Okay, there you go. Uh, geez, Knot's there, Chester's there. I am going to cast Polymorph on myself. Okay. Uh, and I am going to turn into a giant ape. Okay. Oh. A uh, giant ape. We'll use we'll use this guy because I think no, it's close enough. Oh, look. He's right. back, George. <laughs> uh, and I am going to circle around Caduceus. And get yeah, and get in the laughing guy's face, and yell towards Jester and Not and Yasha, and just go. And then I will punch him in the face two times. Well, you just used your action to polymorph. Action to polymorph. Correct. Oh, great. Then I just yell in his face. You got it. All right. That finishes your turn. That brings us to Caduceus. I need to make a wisdom saving throw for you. Okay. This one's been kind of okay today. That, oh, wow, that really went. <laughs> oh my Ooh. god! No! 
No, 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 no. As the fear takes hold, the laughter piercing your mind, <laughs> you find yourself <laughs> racked with fear and unable to move. <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> I'm racked with fear and unable to move. Correct. So I have fear. You are frightened. So what cures frightened? Chocolate, according to Henry Proff. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> what deals with fear? Uh, Faster debating it? Um. Caduceus? Oh, I don't have any of those. What are you doing in here? Uh, anything here, fear, or am I just kind of fucked on this? Uh, it depends on what type of, of spells you have prepared. Uh, does uh, Lesser Restoration here, fear? Go and check it out. <laughs> I'll pull it up here as well. But uh, things to blinded, deaf, and paralyzed, or poisoned. So not yeah. fear. So no. Fuck. Okay. Uh, greater restoration, however, is a fifth level. But I don't a have fifth a fifth level. level. Yeah. Uh, okay, that's fine. Um, I am going to motherfucker. I am going to cast. Bless, oh fuck, what am I doing? Yeah, all right, I'm casting Bless on Jester. Oh, you're dropping, I'm dropping yours, sorry. Um, I don't have any, so okay. Um, bless on Jester, you said? A bless on Jester, Bless on Caleb, Bless on my Caleb's on the gorilla. self. Yep, he's a blessed gorilla. He's and blessed uh, do I see anybody else, or? That's three. I, I'm just casting it at second level. Second level, uh, right now, not? you can see. Uh, I can't see anybody, can I? I'd say you probably can't see not from this point. You can see Asha, you can you can see see Asha and you can see Ford, and you can see Bo. What's the range on that? Uh, 30 feet. 30 feet? Yeah, you couldn't even reach. All right, all right. That's, it. Um, that's my fucking thing, other than just holding a, a reaction. Okay, Jester, you're up. Oh, Fuck. boy. I need you to make a wisdom saving throw for me, please. Oh, that far away, oh, huh? Wow. Yeah. Oh, boy. What's the radius around it? I don't know, uh, man. You have a d4 it's to add to it now. Okay. Oh, no. What's the range? 15, 15 foot around it. <laughs> I think it gets louder every time we fucking hit him. 16. Sixteen, you managed to resist oh, the fear. God, that bless. That bless save me. Okay. 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 Fuck, okay. man. Not okay. Okay. Get the fuck out. Get out. What about Yasha? What the what fuck? About, what about Caduceus? I saw Yasha hit. Not. Uh, make a perception check. Actually, your your passive perception. Yeah, you probably would have seen it. Fifteen. Yeah. You know you're running up the stairs. Yeah. Are you like in this corner? Yeah. Oh, God. Okay, I'm gonna Shit. turn to Yasha and say, I don't even know where we're running. <laughs> We don't have time for you to be controlled, and I'm gonna cast Charm Person. On Yasha? On Yasha. Okay. Oh boy. Charm on charm. Yeah. Yeah. Did you do two charms? Make a. Make Too wrong to make a right? I don't know. Yeah. Okay, so you make a wisdom saving throw. Cast a spell. Uh, add advantage because you're not friendly to us right now. I'm Correct. Saying. Oh, God damn it. She rolled so well! Fuck, man. Bad people. 19. 19, yeah. Does not find purchase within Yasha's head. Jeez Louise! What? Mm. Fuck. Mm -hmm. Why'd you have to roll so good? No, you had to roll well. Oh, 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 oh. I understand. <laughs> does, she, does she roll a save every round, Yasha? No. No, she's just straight up. Okay. <laughs> I see what just happened. I see what just happened. I got okay. really excited for just a split second. Sorry. What's your name, Jester? Uh, I'm going to run. I'm going to try to run. so thick right now. Audis. For sure you are. Okay, I'm going to try to run. One. Before I do it, 30? oh, I'm gonna uh, bring my spiritual weapon and try to kill that dog. All right, go ahead and roll an attack. Fuck that dog. Uh, 12. 12 does not hit, unfortunately. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Sorry, dice. Uh, 
All right, that finish your turn? I guess, I mean, that's everything I can do, man. All right, not you're up. Yeah, unclear on our objective yeah. right now. I can't believe you rolled that. Good. Caduceus can't suddenly, move. Suddenly, all of a He's sudden. He's currently cowering so in fear, barely casting his spells. And Caleb is about to be stuck as well. Fuck. Because of his very low wisdom. Um, I will. I gotta walk. I, gotta walk. I will, I will oh take God. a small flower out of my hair and <laughs> hand it to Yasha and run away yeah. as fast as I can. Bonus action disengage. Okay. <sighs> To get up here, oh, I need you to make an so athletics sad. check to climb. Or acrobatics to try and parkour off. Right. Your choice. Uh, 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 acrobatics, I guess? Sure. She gave 11. 11? Yeah. Well, you get up there, I'll say, but it takes 10 feet of your movement. Okay. So you have 25 feet, you still move. I will move those 25 feet. 20, 25. That's where you get there, that's your bonus, and your movement, you have an action still. And then my action, I will keep moving. Okay. Trying to stay within 30, 30 feet of Caleb. Okay, yeah, that keeps you at 30 feet from Caleb. It puts you there. All right, Sorry, that finishes your turn. That's it. All right. It is now the Laughing Hand and the Dog's turn. Laughing Hand and the Dog's a great band name. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> totally is. The dog is going to shift around, and both of them are going to swap places here. What? Ooh, like a rook the move. dog's going to jump up yeah. on the, across the ceiling, leap. Fucker. Dogs are fucking cool and scary. Move in. Motherfucker, no, really? No. Was that dog within range of me? Uh, that dog was not. It was okay. back here. Right. And then it leapt. You don't have a 10 foot range? You have a 10 foot, ten foot reach? 10 foot there? reach as. as uh, then, yeah, you would. You get attack opportunity. Yeah, I'll oh, punch thank that God. Dog. Thank you. Yeah, I'll punch that dog. Yeah, I'll punch that Eight fucking dog. Punch. Uh, that's 15 to hit. 15 to hit? 15, 15 hits? <laughs> Good roll damage. Okay, okay. Ugh. So, 13, 19. 19 damage, nice. Wham! Giant fist punch to it. The creature <laughs> rushes past, runs across the ceiling, and lands behind. Not blocking it. It's going to be um, first attack, giant blade on Caduceus. Oh, fuck, man. Advantage. Uh, that's going to be a 24 to hit. Yeah, it hits. All right. You suffer 18 points of slashing damage. Motherfucker. Stop. Don't do The dog from behind is going to go ahead and attack you. Okay. I need you to uh, roll a constitution saving throw, by the way, for the uh, bless, if you don't mind. Uh, sure. <laughs> uh, pff, nine? No, you lose the bless. Motherfucker. Oh yes, you are. <laughs> uh, Oh my god. All right, so that is uh, for the other, that's a 19 to hit for the hound. Really, a 19 to hit? He has advantage, because he has pack tactics and attacking with an ally. That, that's going to be 2d4, not 2. This might be the end of me. So, nine points of piercing damage. Yeah, this really might be the end of me. So nine points of piercing damage. Uh, it's going to go ahead and slam you with its fist. Roll bad. Uh, no, that's a natural 19. Uh, 30 to hit? Wait, 30. Uh, just barely. <laughs> <laughs> uh, for I'll that, allow it. you take 10 points of bludgeoning damage. It's Jester, the Gorilla, the Hound, the Laughing Hand, and Caduceus in the middle, right? Right. Are missing something? Yep, they're right there. Kind of okay. right. I am kind of fucked. And third slice with its arm against you. It's natural 20. Natural 20. No. I cancel it. You oh. do. Oh. And thank God. Oh my God. <laughs> Someone's going to need to carry me the fuck out of here. 22 points of slashing damage. I am kind of standing. He's okay. All righty. I am See, bad. Don't be worried. When did it? Yeah, oh yeah, low ones. Oh, <laughs> oh shit. Oh, fuck. Alrighty. Alright, 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 alright. That all right, finishes all right, all right, all right, his turn. Okay, okay. Ford, you're up. I'm up! <laughs> yep. <laughs> I'm coming back in. Okay. Full movement can get you about there. You're Good in melee job. with the dog. I'm in melee with the dog? Correct. Yeah, I will take both swipes at the dog with the Summer Dance Falchion. Go for it. What are we gonna do about this guy? And we, is is Caduceus flanking him? 
Uh, you could move in a way that was flanking him, yeah. I'll allow okay, that. Let's yeah. do that. So, uh, 21 to hit. That hits. Go and roll damage. Okay, okay. all right. Four, three, uh, 12 four. points of slashing damage. 12 points of slashing damage. Second one is a. No, the first attack kills it. Oh! Oh, sweet! It is scattered oh to the sky. Oh, boy. The shadow bursts and dissipates amongst the non lit corners of the chamber wall. Great. Uh, I, can I send some Eldritch? No, I don't want to yeah. hit the fucking guy, do I? Well, you're, oh, use your attack not. action, which means you have a second attack. You don't can't use a cantrip, unfortunately. Cool. Uh, you can move closer if you want to. You have five more feet of movement. But I can't get in melee with anybody? No. Okay, if Jester wants is, to try to Is there anything I can yeah. do bonus action wise if I got near Caduceus to aid him in some way? No, it's an action. To try and use the help action. Yeah, that's, that's right. Got. Okay, I will uh, not do anything. I I'll what? Yeah, well, I mean, like, the only thing I could think to do is, like, try and get this guy to burn a fucking attack of opportunity. Yeah, I can't help. I got five more feet of movement. You said no. that's what I. You got about five more feet of movement yeah, to get I'll move. Get, I mean, so yeah, I'll no, move never mind. The never wall. mind. I'll move towards the yeah, There. Go. Okay. okay. There you go. So Finish his forwards go. Fucking, yeah, you're just going to get frightened if you're. Yeah, yeah. Alrighty. Uh, Yasha, it's your turn. What's your movement speed? 40 feet. Why do I only have two goddamn spell slots? 30, 35. Is there. I don't know how this uh, is going to go. I don't the, understand how this the, is going to go. ahead and make two attacks against the giant ape. You have advantage on these because you are flanking with an ally. Did you see how fast he could fucking go? Did the flower remind me of anything that not gave me? Unfortunately, no. Okay. I bet it's like 40 or. Yeah. That advantage. Yeah. That advantage. With advantage. God damn it. Who are you attacking? Me. Caleb. 19 for the this. first hit. 19 for the first hit. All right. To hit? Yeah. All right. Fuck, I hate this. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, man. 20 points of damage for okay. the first hit. All right, second attack with advantage. Oh, fuck. 27. Yeah, yeah, hold that damage. Oh my god. Music. Oh, was that, it was the mic. 11 points of damage. Yeah, play the drop. All right. The music. You need last five feet of movement to go ahead and shift over and engage with Jester. I thought the knife just. Wait, what? What? What was? What was said? Yasha finished the attacks on the Balkara and then move aside and just engage with you. Yasha is just looking at you in the eyes. All right, that brings us to Bo. There's no stun now. Caleb Gorilla is going to push through between Big Sword Hand and Caduceus like this with left arm, get in the way, scoop up Cad, and start to run. I'm bigger than he is. Okay, so you try to reach over and grab that? Um, yeah, I'm taking him in like babe, like he's a baby monkey. Okay. Grapple my tum tum, and I'm just going to start running. You got it. Yeah. All right, the uh, laughing hand is going to go ahead and take an attack of opportunity yep. against you. What am I doing? That is uh, 19. Uh, sure. All right. You take 23 points of slashing damage. Got it. And 40 feet of movement. All right. Oh, you weren't frightened? You got out of there? Nope. Nice. And so you are now. Thank you. Grabbed by the ape and brought aside. <laughs> All right. That finishes your go. Bo. Am I. How far away am I from the angel <clears throat> statue? Dagger from angel, angel statue? Uh, you're probably. I'd say 20 feet at this point. Stressful. You're not that far away at all. Okay, I go over to that. Did that, when we put the dagger in, did it open a door? We put the dagger in, the door broke, like like split in half and then opened. It was, there was a line in the center. So now the door opened and one half of the angel is like the hand still holding the dagger in. I'm going to go up and I'm going to. I'm just going to pull it out and see if anything yeah. happens. Oh, Make a strength boy. check. Make a strength check. Oh my god, oh. oh. What if you close it and then we. I'll, put, I'll open it what again. What if it disappears and the fucking. Oh, Jesus. Is she, she's locking us in there. Oh, fuck, it may happen. Strength check? Yes. 19. You pull the dagger out. 
put it back in. Begins to close. You can do that next turn. Okay. It begins to close? Yeah. Okay. How, how slow okay, is it okay, going? Okay. Not terribly slow. It's probably going to close next round. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. We're going to Indiana Jones this. We're going to Indiana Jones this shit. Oh, fuck. If anyone had a whip, they could get Yasha out. All right, that brings us to uh, <laughs> Caduceus. I am going to fuck my life. I am going to. Is there any? Who's is is Caduceus and Caleb on the other side of the door? Are they out? They're out. We're double run up to there. Yeah, so I'm going to do turn. Are they out of the door? Of the range of the door? Uh, you are at a speed of what? These two. 40? What? 40 feet? No, they're not out yet. They're they're right behind you. Okay. Um, All right. So, do some switching. I'm going to use uh, cure wounds, I guess, because yeah. fuck at fourth level, because fuck. Okay. Uh, on myself. That is a. Uh, I'm shaking so much. Uh, it's a fuck ton of d8. Uh-huh. So, I don't get a bonus on this because of the the the, the closure thing of healing. No, yeah, healing myself. Healing yourself. You, the closure doesn't help. Only helps if you're unconscious. I also thought it does a thing where it, it gives me something with the hit dice. With hit dice when you're oh, healing on a spell, okay. but nothing can heal. Okay. No, it's I'm over right behind. Right right uh, oh, okay, that's okay, better. That's great. Sixteen. Twenty-seven points of heal. Twenty-seven points of healing, <laughs> which brings me up not nearly 20. enough. And um, yeah, um, I don't really have any uh, anything else I can fucking do, can I? Uh, any bonus actions other than uh, actually, as my as my as my for my run, I'm gonna hop out of your hands. Are you I'm, st- can you move now? Yeah, uh, I believe. Okay, so you hop out of his hands, and I'm gonna. I'm, hmm? I can take his 80 feet, but oh, who knows what's going to happen. Yeah, go. Just I'm going to start booking. Okay, so you run through the doors that are closing. Yeah. You got it. All right. That brings us to Jester. Facing off with Yasha. Yasha's engaged with you. Oh, shit. Run. Just run. Get the fuck out of there. That or die are kind of the options at the moment. Run, baby. That's that's what's there. <clears throat> oh boy. Oh boy. I'm gonna try. How far away from the door am I? Really far? Uh, from there, you're about 60 feet away. Oh, that's the fuck. Double it. Double so I can double dash and try to get out? Double dash and you'll reach the door, yeah. I'm just gonna say. Oh. Snap out of it, Yasha. And oh no, I hate it. And I'm gonna run through the door. Okay. Oh, Make a sentinel attack against Jester. Oh no! Oh, no. Oh, shit. Uh, what's it? Just. Sorry. Just an attack roll. Twenty. Is that him? I've got one mere duplicate. Go ahead and roll. Lord Almighty, oh, please. Go boy. Go boy. Edge you go boy. That's cocked. cocked. Roll again. I need an 11 or higher. 16. Thank fucking God. <laughs> the mirror image takes the final blow as Yasha's skin Fuck forger me. slams into the ground. You feel the energy oh, dissipate behind you God, as you dart bad. forward, double move, rushing just beyond the closing doors. Wow. Fuck. Wow. That is some fucking luck. <laughs> Fuck. Wow. Fuck. Not okay. Wow. Good call with the mirror. Not, it's your turn. Holy shit. Boy, Ford, you're still in there? You have enough, he's going to get out. He's got all sorts of thundersteppy things. No, he doesn't. You don't? Just you get can out. get out, right? How far is Ford from the door? Ford is about uh, a little closer. He's about 50 feet. I'll make it. I'll make it. Uh, how far am I from the door? 30 feet? Uh, you're 40? about 30 feet from, yeah. I will step forward 10 feet towards the Big bad mamma jamma. Oh. All right. Throw my tangle foot bag. Okay. At him. 
or between him and Yasha, if I can get an area. I don't actually know how tangle foot bags work. I was trying I'm, to look I'm it telling up. you right now, okay. it's, it, it essentially works as a, as a 20 foot radius entangle, or sorry, a 10 foot radius entangle spell. Okay. So go ahead and roll an attack. Just roll a d20, add your, de- your dexterity modifier. Oh my god. It's mod. Do you got anything left? Oof, not great. Not great. 14. 14? Okay, that's enough to hit the space there. Now he gets to make a strength saving throw. We'll be restrained by them for the next round. I don't think he's natural one. Uh, sixteen. Yeah. No, he resists it. Okay, great. The vines wrap around the legs, and he's kind of like, "Fuck, dude!" Snaps him with his legs. Cool. cool, cool. Well, then I'll turn around and Fuck run them. out the door. Yeah. Forward, come, come now. With that, you have enough movement with your bonus action yep. to make your Fuck, way dude. into the next space. Fuck, dude. Put your right there. We know where you are. Fuck, dude. All right. So okay. not rushes through. Okay. That brings us. Oban's turn. Oh, not Oban, sorry. The, the Laughing Hand's turn. Fuck, dude. I came back in. God damn it. <gasps> and the, the Shadow Hound is going to go ahead and turn over this way. God damn it. <gasps> you don't have shit. Oh, you're flanked now. Yeah. Okay. Even hit. So, first is going to go ahead and make a slam attack against you. Oh, man. That is a 24 to hit. It is not going to do any damage. Instead, he's going to grapple you. Oh, no! While you are grappled, you are also restrained in this way. Fuck. <clears throat> he's now going to make two blade arm attacks against you. Mm-hmm. Door's closed. That is going to be a 19 to hit. Hits. You take 17 points of slashing damage. Okay. And that second attack is going to be a 29 to hit. Hits. That one's not a great damage roll. That is going to be 14 points of slashing damage. That finishes his turn. The Hound is now going to strike you from behind. Oh my god. Uh, oh, that's a tough roll. That's a 11. Oh, misses. Misses you. Okay. <laughs> Tries to bite at you. Oh, man. Okay. All right. That finishes oh, you're the laughing alive? hand's turn. He's still alive. But he's held in place. He's like fucking yeah. 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 It's your turn, your turn Ford. To do your nose under step. No, I have no step. But at the start of my turn. Yeah. You have to make a wisdom save. <gasps> oh god. Oh my god. Ugh. This is disgusting. This is brutal. <laughs> oh my god. Thirteen. Thirteen. You are racked by fear. The fright seizes your body, you cannot move, and you are frightened. Fuck. You still have your actions. I do? Yeah, just take your action, you just can't move, and your attacks are a disadvantage. I will turn towards the hound and sickeningly take two swipes at the shadow dog. Go for it. It's cocked. Again. Again. <laughs> uh, 23 to hit. That hits. It's 14 points of slashing damage. What's that you got? Second one. Well, that finishes him. Oh, thank God. He was still damaged from the, uh, the attack earlier. So, yeah, that takes out that last Shadow Hound. You still have one more attack. I'll swing it. I'll turn around and face my. Face my attacker and it's, uh, 23 to hit. 23 to hit. Go, go ahead and roll. Like just getting out. 12 points of slashing damage. Got it. Barely moves from the impact. The blade almost sinks in and stops, and you have to kind of wedge it out. You feel your hand shaking with your blade in your grasp. I can uh, do then, nothing else, and I, that is my turn. All right. And then what though? That brings us to Yasha's turn. Can you do the thing? Can you do the Go make two attacks against Ford, Yasha. Reckless. Do you have the door? <sighs> okay. Oh no! Natural 20. <laughs> Variants do, man. Fuck. Fuck, man. I can't. Oh my god. 
Why is it so good? Why are you rolling so good when you're not being Yasha? Ugh, okay. Uh, uh, I rolled 16 plus 7, so I don't know if you. 16 is what you rolled? So that would be. 34 plus 7. So add, and then you add the 7 after. Correct, and then you roll an additional d6 on top of that, because it's a brutal critical. So 41 plus another plus d6. Another d6. <gasps> plus another d6? Yeah. Holy fuck. 43. 43 points of slashing damage. So you see Ford take it, <gasps> oh, you fall quiz. backwards. He uses his one half work, relentless endurance, to stagger himself oh. and put oh. one hand on the wall and just look up. Still being held by the laughing hand, by Whoa, the way. Okay, okay, okay. One hand. He's fine. Crazy. I'll say, I'll look at Yasha and go, why? No. Mm. 16. For the second hit. Misses. Oh! Thank God. I heard you. Oh, gosh. Her voice comes through. She's still looking at you intently, a burning grin on her face, but she still says, almost disembodied, I heard you. Oh. That finishes Yasha's turn, Bo and Caleb. Come on, guys. Save him. Come you know, on, we're trying to open kids. the door back up. The door is yet. closing now. So Where are you gonna it's closed? You're gonna have to use your is it, is it closed closed? It's closing on your turn. So if if you want to try and keep it back open, you have to use your action to put the dagger back in. Yeah. What are you doing? I'm at the door, and the door just closed in front of me. Is that what I'm it's seeing? Closed. It's in the process closed. of closing, but it's not big enough for a giant ape to go through, or is it? No, no. Okay. I'll, I'll put it back in. Okay, so use your action. The door halts and starts reopening. We didn't, we didn't make it. You have your movement still in your bonus action. Fuck, man. I. Movement bonus action. Sorry, I can't. It smells just poop. <laughs> <laughs> this Japanese liqueur thing. What's it called? Can I move up to Yasha? Do I have enough move to move up to Yasha? Uh, it is a. She is about 50 feet from you. So at the door, yeah, with your move, you can get up to her. Is Ford still or up grappled? To Ford. Ford is still held, yeah. Just by fear. No fear, and you're still grappled by. Uh, grappled and still grappled. laughing. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, so even though you did the. I'm covered in blood. You were conscious, you, you still are grappled? Barely here. Fuck. Can we do something simultaneously, or we, do we wait yeah, for. Yeah, I'm Yeah, okay, so the gorilla form just drops, and Caleb is here, reaching into his pocket and puts some phosphorus down into his hand and squelches his hand through it, and a wall of fire stretches out, splitting forward from them on a deep angle that is almost parallel to the wall, but at an angle. And the damage side will, of course, be towards Yasha and the creep, all and right. not harming Ford at all, and it will make just a straight line for Ford to run along towards the exit from where I am. Right. Uh, gosh, I don't know how to communicate this. Um, I was picturing like. the fire uh, not curving around them, but making a line towards Caleb's Caleb, yeah, like a okay. runway for Ford. Gotcha. Like Towards a the long door. diagonal. Okay. Yeah. Nice, nice. Do they hit nice. the damage immediately, or is it on their turn? Uh, I think it's on their turn, right? Uh, I think so, yeah. You got it. Okay. <coughs> That's your action? Uh, yeah, and I will back up as close to the door as I, uh, no, the door is opened, I will back up. Into the room? My 30 feet back, yeah. You got it. Okay. Who's next to me? Uh, next to you right now would be Jester. Jester is right next to you, not a little further in. Caduceus, you've been, you ran into the chamber as well. So both Jester and Caduceus are right next to you. I'm going to, as I dart back off, I'm going to hand the dagger to Jester. As I run by, grab Ford and okay. try and run him, and then. So you're going to dart back. I'm going to dart back with my move. Okay. So that would be. 45 feet to get up to Ford. Mm -hmm. You got it, you're up to him. Uh, 
And then can I grab him and use Step of the Wind and try and drag him back out of the door as quickly as I can? You can certainly try. That's what I'm going to try and do. Also, DM, the spell says the creature takes so uh, damage when it enters the wall for the first time on a turn or ends its turn there. So Correct. They're technically in it, so would it trigger when we get to the start of their turn? Because otherwise they could just walk out of it. And you know what, that's true. We can do the damage now. So go ahead and roll. The spell confuses me. I know, uh, so it's a little finicky, so. Uh, it's dex save, right? 24, yeah. Roll a deck save, Yasha. It's cocked. Uh, advantage on decks. 16? Uh, no, 17. 17, yeah, so full damage on the left hand. What's the damage on that? 24. 24 fire damage. And what'd you roll? 13. So, I 13, so you take another 24 points fire damage. All right, so you're trying to pull. I'm going to take him and kind of throw his arms over me and do the backpack maneuver and All try right. and lift him up and see how far I can get. Make a strength check because you're pulling against the laughing hand strength because he's still grappling him. Oh, so you're trying to pull him the out fire of it. the fire? No, yeah, it's still holding on to him. You see this the hand it's holding out holding the forward the out of the flames ah, as it's burning him. Ah, this is going to fucking fail. You're strong. Natural no, I'm not! Okay! I roll. Wait, just a straight, straight. Strength? Strength, add your strength bonus, yeah. No bonus. I have no bonus, so 18. Fuck, you rolled a 16. Oh, no joke. Fuck. <laughs> so oh, it's like there's no way you were going to beat that. <laughs> no, there was no way I should have beat that. <laughs> your arms are flexing on the verge of tearing. <laughs> a little turd squeeze ass out. Uh, just a little. Slapella. <laughs> 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 all right, all right, now I said it allow it. Okay. Oh. So you. You manage to rip forward out of the Laughing Hand's grasp. The laughter still burbling from through the flames. You hear the burning sound of the fire as all the voices are still pushing through. Um, Holy fuck. And pulling him away, step of the wind. Step of the wind. Dragging so, somebody the same speed as you means you move half speed. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you manage to pull forward 20, 20 feet. feet. Okay, okay. So you guys are about there. Got it. Okay. Who's next in the initiative? Okay. So we're not out. We're not out. No. Caduceus, you're up. I'm overheating. Um, I am holding a healing spell for anybody going down. Okay. What well, healing spell? I'm uh, uh, healing word. Uh, a bit, a bit, a bit, a bit. What's it called? Because uh, my brain is made of panic. Uh, 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 healing word. Yeah. Okay. You got it. So if anybody drops to zero. Anyone drops away. to zero, I'm shooting yeah. healing word. Yeah. Jester, you're up. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna. You have the dagger. Not standing next to me. Yes. Passing not the dagger. Ah. And I'm gonna use the whip. Yes. To whip at Yasha and Ford and yank them out the door. You can choose one. Aren't Both. they? Oh, Bow and Ford. Bow. I mean, sorry, Bow and Ford. Oh. So you're just. She's holding on to Ford. So you're grabbing Bow. Yeah. And Go ahead and roll an attack. Oh my god! Come on. Hit me. I'm a, is it like. It's just AC, it's not wrong. I know, I know, but. You're not trying to dodge it, so I'll give you advantage on it. Okay. What was that? That wasn't, that wouldn't be better. Seven or nine. 14. 14. It's less of her allowing it, but just your aim with it isn't quite fair enough. It cracks about two feet to the left. The loud impact causes your ears to ring what, a bit. Don't you, can't you grab things? Can't you catch things? Missiles. As reaction coming at you? Missiles. But it's like a ranged thing coming at her. Roll a dexterity saving. Card. Okay. A save? A save, yeah. Okay. 12. 12? I'll say you're not quite quick enough to grab it, unfortunately. You reach out for it and it just slips through your fingers. It falls in the whip, <laughs> recoils back. Roll shitty. Mm. That's fair. Ford, are you going yet? Fuck, huh? that was. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, as a bonus action. Mm -hmm. This is stupid, but I'm gonna. Um, bonus action, cast Mass Healing Word. Okay. The range on that is. 60 feet. Yes, yeah, so you can hit. Pretty much everybody. Yeah. Except for six creatures. The Brioche. So. Take your head. Woo! You guys get six whole points. That's definitely fun. That's a creature turn. 
Now what is it? What? Six, 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 six points. points. Okay, six cool. points. Oh my god, this is not this did not go the way I thought it was gonna go. <laughs> oh boy. Alright. I finish the gestures go. Damn it. If not, you're up. I really thought that was gonna I know it was so close. Roll. Um yeah. I've got yeah. I've got the knife. Right, and I need yep. to stick the knife in when it's time to close the door, or pull it out. He needs to stick it in. Oh pull no, it pull out. it back out. That's right. So I might. Dagger was placed back in to let it oh, reopen again. Take one but action. it's the laughing. It's the laughing hands turn after yours. So we have to start it closing now. Well, I will we hold to... my action. No, no, no. You no, need to start it now. Start it. Because it'll take an action to close. Okay. Start it, and then Ford, Ford and I can get out. I will Hopefully. pull it out. Hopefully. Okay. I Fuck. guess. You pull the dagger out the doors. They were already kind of re-op- uh, reclosing. You pull them out. They begin reopening again. Wait. So there's no, one no, round. Put it Other way. Put it back in. Yeah. They were, they were sorry. Opening. Sorry. You put it in. Then they begin to open. You pull it out, and they're beginning to close. Okay. Once more. Yes. Sorry. You know what I mean. Yes. All right. Bonus action. I will take out my fluffer nutter bomb and just hold it out, ready. So you got it. All right. That finishes your turn. <laughs> Jumping through the wall of fire, this hulking cloaked behemoth just leaps through. <laughs> Flames kind of licking off of it, slowly burning away. Um, it's going to go ahead and run forward and attempt to attack you, Beauregard. That's okay. It's going to attempt to slam attack you to grab. That is a 17. Miss. Oh. It's going to go ahead and make its blade arm attack against you. That is a 16. Rolled really bad. Yes! yes. That's going to be a 20 to hit. Breakdance, breakdance. You take 18 points of slashing damage. Okay, okay, okay. I'm not grappled, though. Mm-mm. Alrighty. That finishes its turn, no other hounds are up. It's looming towards you after blowing through the fire. It's now comes up, tries to grab, misses once, and then slams the blade once and it pierces like the side of your chest and the pain causes you to push off just enough to keep it from hitting anything vital. But there's now blood pouring out of this open wound that it slashed into your side. Um, that brings us to Ford. I am fucked up and I will push off of Bo's back and rush towards the door. How far away am I? Okay, are you you are now in melee with the creature with laughing hand. Oh you could boy. use your action to disengage and move if you want yeah. to, but that would be yeah. all you can do this turn. Yes. That's what how far am I from the door? Uh, at this point, you are about 20 feet. Yeah, I will disengage and run my right. busted with ass. With that, a ruined Ford manages to just barely make his way out of the range of the laughing hand and run through the the doorway. Fucking. That finishes your go. Yasha, what's the range on the on the firewall? How hurt are you? Um, I'm I'm a 39. Yeah, you're fine. I'm okay. Time to go ahead and dart over, and moving next to. The Laughing Hand, it's now Laughing Hand, Bo's dodging and going out of the way, lets Ford go, turns around, and you see Yasha run through the flames. Dual hands, angry face, rushing right towards you. Make two attacks against Bo. Super cool, super cool image. Running through the fire. Yeah. Um, it's okay. I can just... Advantage or Hmm? Not advantage. Actually, no, reckless, yeah, advantage. Yeah, she knows how to do that. Well, stuff I can do. 20 for the first step in the wind again. Just 20 hit German class? Yes. Yes. So we'll roll damage for that first strike against Beauregard. I have more tools to get out as well as I am. 17 points of damage. 17 points of slashing damage to you. Okay. Go ahead and roll second attack with advantage. I'm going to throw up. Me too. This is the grossest fight ever. Mm. 24. Yeah, every 24. Round Go ahead and roll the image again. Okay. 14 points of damage. Okay. Still standing? Yeah. Alrighty, that finishes Yasha's turn. Bo, Caleb, you're up. Uh, iron shavings in the air, uh, the flames drop, and Beauregard doubles in size. 
Okay. With that, the flames fall out of place, and a massive Beauregard now. Should we be able to get through the door? The door is ten feet wide. Okay. Yeah. Although it is, it is closing. Mm-hmm. But I'm fucking fast. You are. That this will be an ability check to see. Oh All right. God. All right. So fast bow. Is now to move this back a bit just so we can get a little more spatial awareness here. <laughs> so. Dwarven Forge. I know, this is insane. Dwarven Forge. <laughs> so, Beauregard is right there. The stomach is. Uh, Yasha nice. is flattened on that side there into the hallway. The rest of them are by so the door. <laughs> I know, it's a, bit, it's a big fight. All right, so Beauregard, you enlarge in size. Yasha to your right, the laughing hand behind you as you turn around. What are you doing? I am going to step of the wind to disengage. Disengage. All right. It nullifies the sentinel. Oh boy. And my jump distance is also doubled, so I'm going to just kick off and then try and like. It doesn't increase your speed any further, but no. you can make it just a cool moment but as you run and cool. leap. And I'm going to turn it to the turn side. Turn Make an acrobatics check for oh me as you attempt to make your large form Second. tiny. It's getting. No carbs, no carbs. <laughs> Why? Eleven! Eleven. You squeeze past and are now pressed between the doors. Oh, oh no! They're starting to crush you. Oh my god. Do I, do, I, do, I, do I still have a thing that I can do? Can I have an action? Well, you, you do have an action still, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you do still have an action. Make an athletics or acrobatics check to try and break away because you are currently restrained and wiggle, it's starting to crush wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. you. Can you drop the spells as a reaction? Uh, Probably. I don't uh, so that she could 18. not get grappled. Yes. Nine plus eight. Seven, uh, 17. 17. Yeah. You just managed to squeeze oh, through oh, that oh. last action <laughs> and push your way through into the chamber. Are we all in except for Yasha? Everyone is in except for Yasha. All right, that brings us to Caduceus. Um, I'm well. I, I had I had my my reaction still, so I'm just going to. I mean, I, I held my 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 spell, mm -hmm. so I'm just gonna burn my spell. Um, I think you're you're pretty far down. Who's you're both pretty far down. Who looks oh, worse? Uh, I don't know. Probably uh, both pretty rough. Oh, All right, go. Um, have a. Oh my god, that's terrible. Three ones and three d four. Twelve hit points. I will take You're it. You're welcome. That's already um, more than I have. I am booking full speed. Right, I mean, we've, we've got everybody. Away. All right, could you suggester? It's your go. The door is closing on Knot's turn. Knot's through, right? Knot's through. through. Everybody's through except for Yasha. Give it a shot. <sighs> like try to. Whip her and bring her through. Yeah, yeah, maybe she'll make it. I'm gonna whip Yasha and try to bring it through. I'm gonna try to hit Yasha with the whip. <laughs> okay. Now she's heavier than you. But she doesn't matter. It's a strength down. thing. Okay, go ahead and roll an attack. Not gonna pull you towards her, right? No. Mm. Doesn't not mean how that we have a Yasha who's going to kill all of us. But natural, natural one. one. <laughs> You go to whip, nope. and as you swing back, the actual end of the whip ends up wrapping around Caduceus' leg as he's running the other way, oh, and that's Caduceus, mean. you fall into your stomach as it unravels. You're fine, you're still in the chamber, but the whip does not make its way out. I go out. invisible, just out of panic. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> a, small, a small fart. <laughs> I reach out to Yasha and start sobbing as the door shuts. Oh. Okay, that finishes your go, not. There's nothing I can do. I'm, Yasha! I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna look at Yasha and reach out. You hear? We have to run. Oh, oh boy. Go. Okay, go, 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 go. Against the door. We're run. gonna book it as fast as possible. What do we do? What right. do we do about Yasha? You guys book it out of the chamber. Where do we? What are you doing? Do we try to like play uh, the fucking gonna, yeah, drums and drop play this a... thing? the music to try to shut the other gate, too. Okay. You go ahead and play the theme one more time. <laughs> the crystal barrier shuts. You can still hear the muffled bangs from the opposite side. Oh. 
What are you guys doing? You think that that will stop it? No, we gotta get the fuck out of here. We gotta go. Yeah, she's trapped in there. I, I tried to get Yasha out of there. She didn't want to leave. We are moving. This is a one we're talking about moving through the space. Yeah, we are walking. Right, so you're moving through, through the mirror chamber. Like, yeah. And you're now at the base of the long bridge. Oh. oh Christ. <laughs> Why? Why did we come Wait. here? We just need to go, right? We just need to go. Yeah. <clears throat> just run. No, we need to tie ourselves together. Rope together for this. Come on, quickly. Agreed. Rope together. Mm-hmm. Okay. Who has 50 feet of rope? I, just, I still have mine. Okay, good. Mine was all cut up. And then just <clears throat> sprint yeah, across yeah, and try yeah, to. The, the really runny version. Yeah. Yeah, run, run for us. Yeah, not the slow one. Okay. You guys going a full sprint. Thankfully, you fully banished the ropers. That's no longer a worry. You guys all charge together across at full speed, double move. You can make it across the whole bridge in about three to four rounds. Mm-hmm. So, okay. as you're rushing across, the metal clanging, the bridge swinging a bit, the chains rustling, you hear the whispers. <sighs> Begin to can build up. Like la, 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 la. Certainly try. Everyone make I'm a wisdom saving throw. Right that. before we start doing the wisdom saving throw, I'm going to cast Bless on. Um, oh. On. Uh, let's see. Um, Me too. How many targets? It's um, uh, six people. So I'm going to cast Bless on one, two, three, four, five. I'm casting Bless on everybody. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. What is this, a wisdom save? Wisdom, wisdom save. saving throw. Five. Five, okay. With the D4? 19. Yeah, not 14. Make any difference. 16. Yep. Uh, oh, that's good. Like 27. Oh, you're not oh, there. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, oh, I'm such an asshole. I'm so sorry. Oh, you're so amazing. <laughs> All right. And you? Oh, you're not there. Oh, you're not there. <laughs> I'm so sorry. That's oh, purely man. accidental. I'm the you're worst. You're apparently some sort of terrible I'm demon. I'm the worst. All right. So, as you're rushing across the first leg of it, Knot begins to. Not begins to run in a random direction. Tug hard as fuck. Continues to run forward, hilariously oh. enough. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> what are you waiting for? Oh my god. Running to, this, to the middle part of the bridge. Everyone make another wisdom saving throw, please. Uh, mm. With the d4. Uh. Oh my god, natural one. Mm. Oh. And the key fish. 22. 22. 14, 22. 11. 25. 22. 22. All right. Uh, you go catatonic. You guys have to drag a Beauregard with you. The whole group means she only moves. I got only you. I got you. I got you. I got you. Here we go. Control rounds to getting across. You're now in the third <laughs> leg. Drag. You're almost to three quarters of the way across. Dragging Bo behind. Go ahead and make another wisdom saving throw. The, the whispers getting louder and louder. The noise you're making is calling the entire chasm to rise up as the gibbering and shouting oh and whispering. Again? I rolled a two. Oh, God. 23. All right, two. 17. 14. 22. 23. All right, everyone else, once again, dragging Beauregard behind. <laughs> uh, that gets you to the quarter, oh, the three quarter point in the bridge. Another wisdom saving throw as she picks up the speed. <laughs> another, another one? Yes. Again? Wow. Mm-hmm. Where plus was four? the ship plus before? D4? Okay, so it's, okay. 10. 24. Mm-hmm. 23. 15. 25. 22. Okay. Oh. This, this time, Caleb. Caleb, make a melee attack. Oh. Uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll say against. Uh, against yourself. Because why not? <laughs> Roll it <Magic> into a <laughs> You take two points of bludgeoning damage. As you guys are running, Caleb kind of like, Caleb keeps running and then she goes, whack, and just cold cocks himself. The nose is snapped to one side and you can see his broken nose. You can't really tell, you can't really tell. Oh my god. Am I the first person to crit myself on the show? I think you might be. Master debate. Ooh, stop Those are rare. Towards the end of the chamber, you get to the edge of the bridge and you're now on the opposite side of the chasm. However, you're still on the precipice. One more wisdom saving throw, everybody. Oh, Jesus God. Come on. Natural Eight. 20. Mm. Nice. 18. All right. 29. 21 plus. And four. four uh, 25. 23. All righty, Caleb, still dragging behind. You guys managed to pull him out of the chamber uh, as he tries to twice. <laughs> he tries to run in the opposite direction, back into the room, and you kind of drag him back Take in. You are but you managed to pull your way, and you're now back into the chamber of the undead hearts that you gathered. 
Can we unhook the fucking bridge? Yeah. Like, can we what about take Yasha? down what the? What if she needs to get over? What about Yasha? What about that thing? What if it wants to come out out of this place? It can jump down and make it across with with or without a bridge. All right. All right. Let's go. All right. You Should guys. Leave a note to... for her. We're, we're in. I'm, I'm the, moving. We're in with the zombies, y'all. We gotta go. You're into the room. You rush in. The other doors open, and as you're running through, you can see like hands scraping through the undead piles beneath, starting to drag their way up from the uh, the subterranean yeah. let's go, let's go. undead cache. You guys continue to push Get through. Dash, all that shit. Pushing on progressively, you make your way through each of the individual chambers which you fought through, back into the chamber where the spiders were. Yeah, I mean, up up the tower of where the the creature you locked in there is still there. Great. Um, however, the door is locked, so you need to try and unlock it. Oh, this was the door uh, at the bottom of the, yeah. bottom of the yeah. spiral? Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. yeah. So I have to unlock it. Everyone hold their, hold their actions, right? I mean, the thing didn't attack us as soon as we got into the room. Yeah. It's going to. Oh, yeah. At least was the lightning it a mist thing. Is, monster? Yeah. 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 It's invisible. Well, hold your actions anyway, just in case. No. Yeah, okay. I'm going to knock on the door super loud. Echoes through. Wait a beat. Wait a few beats. Then I will pick the lock. Okay. Uh, 30. 30. It opens up the mist, wafts out in your direction. You guys continue upward. Yeah, we got to. All right, you yeah. guys run up, run up, run up, run up. As you're heading up that way, who's helming this? Who's at the front? I'll helm. All right, so Jester, as you're rushing up the side, suddenly you see out of the mist a face to merge and attack you. Everybody, go ahead and make who's, everyone who can, who's within range, mm -hmm. which you are not anymore, unfortunately, you're further back. Yeah. Sacred Flame. Sacred Flame. Uh, natural one. Thank you. Good. So. Uh, 16 to hit. 16. It has you have disadvantage in the attack roll because it is invisible technically. So roll one once more. Higher. Higher than the other. Uh, holy shit. That hits. Um, so that's um, 23 radiant damage. 23. Okay. I rolled two eights with plus five radiant. Woof. All right. There's already still damage from the previous battle. 14 points of, of uh, force damage. Alrighty, what were you holding? I rolled a fire bolt, I rolled 22 at disadvantage and got 12 points of fire damage. 12 points of fire damage, Another okay. 10 points of radiant damage. Another 10 points of radiant damage. Yeah, we'll say the burst of it is it emerges, you guys all at once <laughs> and just <laughs> dissipates based on the attacks that it had already suffered in the previous battle and had not fully recovered right, yet. Um, or you know what? No, because you guys took a long rest, yeah, so it would have recovered. Short. Mm -hmm. No, you took a long, long rest. Long rest. Right. You did. Anyway. So it's still there, so it's going to get its attacks. That means it's going to go ahead and take two slam attacks to the person right in front of it, which is Jester. That is a 11 to hit. Okay. Oh, you oh it's advantage, actually. That is a 15 to hit. <laughs> All right, second attack against you with advantage. That is going to be a 22 to hit. That hits. All right. As it slams you with its invisible pseudopod, you suffer two ones. Uh, you suffer five points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. You cool. You are. It's rolling really well during the heart I'm battle. I'm going to use okay. Hellish Rebuke. Okay, sure, yeah. go ahead and roll damage on it. Uh, that gives it a. This is dexterity? Uh, let me look. There's a constitution for I think it's dexterity, right? Dexterity. Yeah, okay, so it's a 16. What oh, that saves. Saves, okay, so it takes half damage. Um, 17, 19 points. All right, so it takes nine points of damage. Got it. All righty. Uh, you guys continue to rush up alongside, or do you stand your ground and fight it? No, can just keep, keep going. going. You keep rushing. It's like an attack opportunity against you, Jester, as you rush past. Uh, that's going to be a 25 to hit. Okay. You suffer. That's better. Uh, 10 points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. You guys all take your round now, as you kind of see it attacking Jester. As you rush past, you can see it like swirling in the mist. Can we punch as we run by? I'll allow you. 16. 16 hits. Yeah, remember, 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 you have disadvantage on these attacks. Oh. Sacred Flame. Sacred Flame. 18 to 16 hit. Lower. Natural 17. 16. 24. 17 to hurt. 20, or 12 for one. 12 misses. A second attack. 18 Six. on the Guiding Bolt. Yeah, that hits. 13. Misses. 18. Hits. 18 to hit for 10 points of damage. 21 points of radiant damage. Nice. 
24 points of force damage from the two Eldritch Blasts. Alrighty. 12 points of bludgeoning yeah. damage from my Bogus, the final hit, whack, and now it dissipates into the mist. The ghosts. Fucking yeah. ghosts. Punch the ghosts. With that, you rush the rest of the way up the tower. Thankfully, the device previously there has been disabled. That would have made it a very difficult ascent. You make your way through the spiderling chamber. Before we leave, should should we should we blow this thing up so it can't get up the stairs? Should we blow up the stairs or anything? The stairs. I don't know. We can still climb, probably. Yeah. Probably still can't climb. Or blow in a door. Blow in a hallway. The bridge would have been the smarter one. It can't get. It can get across the fucking. Bridge. You make a, that's an assumption. So it's, yeah. so we saw it jump like, yeah. 20 feet up in the air, like you could jump down, jump up. It was hundreds of feet. No, it, no, wasn't. it wasn't. It was no, I mean the cavern. Like Yeah, but it can cross. It's also on got the, bottom the same. Where the big gibber thing is? That's the same thing it is. Hardly too. matters now, to be fair. I mean, if we have something to blow this thing up with, it's yeah, great, but if not, we should the just tunnel. run. Or, yeah, the, the tower. Do I got the, nothing. I'm, I'm close to tapped. Bomb. I don't know if it'll blow everything up, though. I don't know either, but it's your bomb. Well, let's just keep going. You decide. Let's keep going, it probably won't work. Yeah. Okay, you guys rush through the spiderling chamber, glide underneath the partially open adamantine door, make your way to the courtyard where the angels still remain, eyes bleeding. You head back into the winding tunnels past the obelisk pushing into the darkness until eventually you make your way, stumbling out of the hidden passageway, back into the dusty mid-afternoon near Bazozan on the north side of Jorhas, in the barbed fields. You pull, the symbol. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. you pull the thing out? Symbol out of the thing to try to close the door on the hidden passageway. Okay. It closes. Find our mounts. What did we do? Why did we do that? Yasha made her choice. She we said so hide. herself. We need to find somewhere to hide. We're not safe here. We're going to leave, but can we set something so that we at least know if it makes its way out of the door? Not that we could warn anybody, but I think it's going to make its way out. Just to, just to remind, we're at this like military outpost, right? Isn't it like right in the heart of? We're, we're not there. We're we travel yeah, away. you guys are a few miles off to the western we side. We need to get on our mounts and head back. We literally did this guy's job for him. And he's paced. We, we, we came away from this with nothing. Less Yasha. than nothing. We've got to move. We have to tell the Bright Queen. We have to tell what? We have to tell everybody, and we can't tell anybody. Or I pull out the silver thread, and I start taking the ten minutes I need to cast alarm on this door. Okay. I'm listening for any. Can we hear the rumblings coming? Make a perception check. Pick a d20. They all suck today. Ah, twenty. Twenty. You listen. Nothing. I mean, you traveled quite a distance below ground sure. to even reach there. There's so much rock and earth between you and where any of this is happening. It would be a miracle to hear I'm anything. Start, I'm going to start wrangling up the. the I looked at Yasha's eyes. She smiled when I said we had to get out of there. She said she didn't know who she was, couldn't remember things. We don't know her at all. What if that's who she was the whole time? We know her. Do we? Yes. He called her a name, he recognized her, and then she turned in the middle of all that. That was a different person. She was mind controlled, like Caleb was. Those things happen. I have a feeling it's not the last time we're going to see her. They've been opening portals to other dimensions. We're going to save her, just not today. We have to save her. Well, we took down one demon who is ripping portals from the abyss into this plane. He's probably not the only one. Yeah, but what are we going to do? Go back to the Bright Queen and tell her what? We have nothing. We don't have a friend. Yeah. We don't have this Oban. We have nothing. We certainly can't tell her what we did. We can tell her what we, happened. We have to. That what? We unleashed what? We didn't have unleash to know. it. We have, if anything. We tried to stop it. It stopped. 
for now. This is this is what's happening. We have to stop. You're going to give away all of our good favor in this dynasty that we're in. We are not going to be uh, people of favor anymore. That symbol will mean nothing. We, are, we can be. tell the truth. We we killed the one that we set out to, but he unleashed this thing. How do we confirm that? It's locked away. There were several layers of celestial magic in between. And all of that them are thing. opened. And all of them were to keep people out, not to keep that in. We've got to go. Let's just go. We'll talk on the way. I'm collecting, trying to collect the the the, the mounts. <clears throat> this is a if this is a threat. Here, maybe Jester, after you have rested, you can. We need to think, but maybe maybe you can contact. Rosanna and have them come here, at least we warn them that there is a danger here. Yeah. What, what is the angle here? What was his name? The Bob? The, the no, the, the, the guy we released, the laughing hand. Hand. Torog? Torog is the Torog name of the crawling, the crawling king. Crawling. He was a champion of the crawling, crawling king. king. We have to let them know, we have to let everybody know. Everyone, this is too big. We're going to go to jail. We're going to be lucky if there's a jail to go to. This is bigger than that now. This is bigger than jail. This is the only way we're going to save our friend. we got to move. We're also still not 100% certain if the dynasty or the Empire have anything to do with these portals or with Oban. Well, honestly, I think everybody needs to be informed now. They're just guessing. Yeah. We have Guess. to get out of here. Let's go. Let's just go back to we the have city. This conversation later. All right, let's go. It takes you a little bit to find your more bounders. They've wandered quite a bit in the time that you've been gone. They're a little dusty and unhappy, and they've hunted in your absence, but they're okay and happy to see you as you arrive. You step aboard. Your more bounders and begin making your way back towards the hallowed road. Hey, Jester. What? Can you do that thing where you talk to people? Not today. Talk. I don't have it today. What do you need? I want to talk to Yasha more than anything. What are you thinking? I just want to know what happened. I want to know if it's her. We've been played the whole time. How stupid are we? It wasn't. We talked to her. We talked to her in her quietest moments. That. that wasn't her. Yeah, we were a bunch of fast talkers, and where did it get us? Here. I don't think this was all for nothing. I know it feels shitty. I feel closer, though. I don't know why. Me too. No one's stupid. Look at us. I mean, any one of us could have turned in there and we would all be saying, I told you so. No one's stupid. I mean, we said 80 times that we knew we were walking into a trap and that we knew that this guy wanted Yasha. And she said, I want to go first. We said, get in the middle, we'll protect you. She wanted to go first. We, we wouldn't have been able to stop that. And I, I'm not saying that that's any judgment on her or that she knew what she was getting into. But there's no sense in thinking that we could have changed her fucking mind. I think we were going to get played no matter what. And we all knew that, right? Yeah. We had to go in there. Yeah. yeah I guess. We got none of answers. us are fucking dead. We got our answers, we just didn't like them. That's all. Exactly. <sighs> I'm very tired. Thought we were gonna change something, though. Walking out minus one, empty-handed. Can't even count it as a win, except names. that we're alive. We have names. Names are a lot. 
Names can be so much. We don't really know what we have unleashed. We don't. We don't know anything, anything and we're not, we're not going to find answers out here in the sand. We Which have is, to talk to people who know more than us. We're going to know. We don't know yet, but we're going to know. Who are the people that locked away Torok? Celestials. Yeah. Angels. 800 years ago. Moonweaver and. Moonweaver and the Allhammer. Allhammer did. Maybe we can research something, I don't know. The kiln. Hmm? We need to go to the kiln. The kiln? What's that? Mm. His thing he's looking for. It's, it's another temple. The what? The kiln. It's a. Uh, in the mountains near here. Does it have something to do with the old hammer? It was like forged, some, something. What did you, you told us this. It's another temple to the Wild Mother, but it was a, it was a gift. It was a gift to the old hammer. Right. We're all, all of us are gifts. Is it something that can help in this situation? It's where she's been pushing me. I'll, I'll say it one last time. I would rather go back to the Bright Queen or whoever it is we think we're talking to with a solution instead of just the problem. Problems get locked away. Tomorrow morning, we let everyone know. And then if everyone's okay with it, that's what I think we should do next. Look for the kiln? It's the only thing that I can think of, unless someone's got a better idea. Unless the Bright Queen's got a better idea. I got nothing. Well, um, at least I, I think we, but at least I was trying to curry favor with the Queen for politics. But we are dealing with things we don't understand. And I think it's time to stop the con and face this. Why don't we take it one step at a time? We rest. Tomorrow we contact the queen from here. Yeah. Come clean. Because whatever this is, it is bigger than us. We read her reaction. We make a decision after that. Telling her doesn't have to stop us from finding the kiln. Absolutely. No. Unless they throw us in jail. Well, not if we're not there for them. First. Take us an awful, don't take them an awful long time. And we're in the middle of fucking nowhere. It seems like a waste. But cutting and running with no explanation is not, not an option. We are partially responsible for this, so we are going to take responsibility. Yes, we'll take it in steps. We can even contact, um, what's his name, Hot Boy, Essek? I'm keeping an ear on that. Essek first, if we want to. Let's go rest. Do we have to go back into the barracks to rest? That would be sensible. As far as we can get. So you guys track back to Basil's Yeah, we'll run right back. Okay. To Basil's Okay. Caduceus. You said you've been feeling like you've been pushed towards this kiln? That's what you keep calling it? Yeah. Do you feel like it's close? I do. I had a vision. Uh, there was a mountain and a salt flat. I can I can draw it. I'll draw it for you. It was a mountain without snow. Interesting point too. It was a mountain without snow amongst mountains, mountains with, with snow. snow. 
and it looked like a salt flat, but it also looked like it had crystal. crystal. It was white dunes. White sand. Does that sound familiar to anything? Make we've a history seen? check. History check. All right. Let's just come on, come on, give me a win. Okay. Um, twenty total. Twenty. Yeah. Snow-capped mountains generally start fairly north. There are snow-capped mountains along the north side of the Vendalian Empire. Faint bits of snow that occasionally hit elements of Jorahas, you assume based on just topography, but you haven't seen any since you've been here. It's like a snow mountain range amongst white dunes. You do know that in the Grang Wildlands, there is a large mountain range called the Flotket Alps. The what? The Flotket Alps. Flotket? Flotket. In the Grang. Okay. Wild. The Grang Wildlands. And this is back home? This is north of the Dwindalian Empire. Okay. This is this is north of where you live, where we grew up. This is very north. Okay. You're familiar with the Flotket Alps. Like if you mention this to Caduceus, you know exactly what those are. Is that, does that match what I have in my head? Or? It may. You've never been there. You've never traveled there. You've not really gone too far. Flat kept sure. Alps. Flat kept Alps. F L O T K E T. K E T. And you, he says, white dunes, crystal. There is actually, and you've only read about it, and it comes to mind, though you never paid attention to much at the time, there is a place called the Crystal Sands Tundra. Crystal. Sands Tundra. Sands. It is to the northwest of those Alps. North of the Dunrock Mountains? Mm hmm. Northwest. We don't have a map for that. You do not. It's off the map. Wow. And in the north, it is above a body of water. <clears throat> Wait, where are we? Well, we're over here somewhere, and it's up here. Well, here's the Grain Wildlands. Uh huh. You said it was somewhere in there. Correct. So we're talking here-ish? Those mountains at the very, very top? These? Those probably could be the flat cat Alps. Oh. And this is this is a lake? That is a heavy lake, yes. And that's what, dunes? Is that land? No. Nope. Or is that water? You don't know. I'm sure. It's the wild lands. Cool. Okay. We'll have to figure this out tomorrow. I gotta think about that now. I just ride and cry. Sore, sad, contemplative. You all quietly make your way through the subtle dust storms, this north side of the barbed fields towards Bazozan to see what the next step of your adventure is. If I could have everyone but Yasha leave the table, please. Ooh. You can go. Gross. Oh, Gross. Oh, shit. Man. Get out quick. End whispers. Get out quick. Oh, this is the worst. This is... Turn off the TV outside. No, oh, yeah. I want to watch. No, yeah, turn the TV off. Oh, ah. Man, that did not look good. I am happy I wore this shirt tonight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, boy. oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> Through this experience, the minute that burning sensation seared into the back of your neck was weirdly familiar. You began to feel the rush of memories, of being found broken in the wastes. This red-skinned savior pulled you from the depths and showed you a, an angel like yourself that could give the power you need to maybe forgive yourself or perhaps one day avenge those that took your love from you. And you just see flashes, flashes of laughter and conversations with this Oban. 
and others. A traveling troop of zealots wandering these plains. Flashes of you, brothers in arms. Flashes of you hunting those who wander too far from their village. Flashes of the bloodshed and carnage you caused. Uncertain if it was within you this whole time, or was it this same burning? You don't know. You just know you kept being drawn to his yellow eyes and his comforting voice. Who knows how long. You see yourself receded into your consciousness, looking through a tiny window. Your body not your own. Frozen in emotion, watching your friends scream and flee. You see the hulking mammoth, laughing hand, an entity you had heard the name once or twice in the past, but had long forgotten, blacked out like all these memories. And you see it slam and slam and slam into these barriers. You help. The two of you together watch as the first barrier begins to crack and break and then shatter over time. Another period passes with the strength of you two silently smash through the next barrier, which you shouldn't be able to do. But this entity is far older and of a different make than anything you've encountered before. You're scared, but you have no control, or do you? That thought scares you. Before the behemoth lumbers off, slowly clawing both of your way to freedom once more, you step back into the chamber and gather in your hands the remaining ichor that once was Oban. In it, you can still feel a very faint thrum or beat. Holding in your hand, you turn and follow your new lumbering friend. Or at least the body does. Or is it you? You're scared. And that's where we'll end tonight's episode. Holy moly. We're gonna miss you, Ashley. <laughs> <laughs> Me too! I know. <sighs> All right. That's. That's intense. <laughs> and that's the end of this chapter for Yasha. <sighs> okay. And I'll keep you updated as we go as to what that means and other points of time. But regardless, an intense episode. But thank you guys for joining us for a true Dark Knight of the Soul moment of the campaign. Just know, we love you very, very much. Don't Happy forget Pride. To love each other. Don't forget to love each other. And is it Thursday yet? Good night. <laughs>